Of all people. Of all, yeah. <laughs> Who else other than like the number one healer? Uh, Moira. Uh, that's Ew. I think word. Moira's a better healer. I no, I fucking hate her. I love playing with Moira. I hate Moira. Why? Her and Brigitte. Brigitte. I hate her so much. Brigitte's cool. Brigitte's a lo- Brigitte like is a Reinhardt that can heal. I was I figured that's how you like her. <laughs> she's, she's a like Reinhardt that can heal. The best of both worlds right there. Yeah. She's um, the secret love child of Reinhardt and Torbjorn. Torbjorn. Yeah. Mm-hmm. You mean to tell me I, Reinhardt's like in his 60s and he didn't want to smash his little squire? <laughs> Fuck, he's li- you're lying. <laughs> you're lying. <laughs> smash his squire. Where smash. did that fucking come from? <laughs> he trained her. Yeah, I know. He, she used to follow him everywhere. Yes, that I know. Was his, that's, his, like, that's like his goddaughter. Hence squire. Yeah. Yes, that's you, don't, you don't smash your goddaughter. <laughs> well, he, he did. We the fairy godmother didn't show up and help send her around. She's like, mm. What? What were we doing again? Timmy <laughs> Turner and the fairy godparents. Is is Poof Triple really X-ray. Timmy? <laughs> Triple X fairy godparents. All right, let's get rolling on this, guys. Yeah. <laughs> Welcome to the Midnight Slowdown. Why do you do this? <laughs> I don't know. I always do that. He's like cradling the balls. <laughs> oh. Yeah, I forgot and about I, that. And I, I've been out of practice. <laughs> He's just... It looked like I was sucking on my thumb. You see that? <laughs> Cause you don't see my pinky here. Look, you don't see it. You definitely don't see it over there. No. Uh. Or I was touching Jonathan inappropriately. Yeah. I can't stop now. What the fuck? <laughs> and with that, welcome guys to another Nerd Underground podcast. Joe is obviously back. Hey guys. Unfortunately, he's like staring at my laptop. Oh, I can't stop staring at him. The camera's up there. Fuck that camera. Your camera's a camera. Thank you. I mean, there's also <laughs> for audio listeners, so, yeah. Oh. Your headphones are headphones. Yeah. <laughs> headphones are headphones. <laughs> or earbuds for you people. Earbuds are buddy. <laughs> what? Ear buddy. Air buddy. Air bud. You got two of them. You don't remember the dog movie? Yeah. Air bud. Not air buddy. Yeah, air bud. <laughs> I thought you said, yeah, air buddy. Air no, buddy. I just said air buddy because Did I Did you ever buddy. watch the ABCU? ABCU. The air bud cinematic universe? Oh my gosh. Do you, do you have a universe to everything now? Well, this did it before Marvel. Oh, okay. I was thinking like ABC like channel and then it was like something. <laughs> I was like A, B, A, B, C. Yeah. One, two, three. Okay. No. It's not, <laughs> not the Jackson song. I meant like the channel ABC. Oh shit. I yeah, I got it. I got it too. I, mean, I thought that, I thought, I thought that too when I first heard it. And I'm like, what? Oh, everybody. What? <laughs> yeah, I did not know that was a following. They were like the third movie. All he's there for is to smash. Prissy French bitch. <laughs> <laughs> smash a squire. Smash a squire. <laughs> smash a squire. Anyways, banter aside, hello, I'm your host, David Faria. And I, we're like I said, we're finally joined by the Padawan Joe. Who wants to squash his... Squash his squash, 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 squash. I combined the words. Squ- squash. You want to squash your... Squ- squ- you want to splash your... Squash. You want to splash your squash? Splash, splash. I was squashing my squash. <laughs> what? You got to say that like eight times fast. You can do it. Do it. No. <laughs> I'd fail miserably. And also, as usual, John Cut. What's up, Cut? The co-pilot of this podcast. Co-pilot. 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 Yeah. Co-pilot. Yep. Yeah. Meaning you yeah. don't do shit. Means you're the backseat bitch. <laughs> <laughs> That's why you back there. That's why I'm back here. Exactly. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, I'm just going to cut right to it. Even though the podcast's uh, main goal is to talk about what's trending in the nerd world, this is the, the week. It's been the month, really. So there's way, no way of avoiding it. We're going to talk Avengers. We did last or last episode. Yeah, I almost said last week, but we didn't have one last week. Sorry, uh, we had to take a week off. But this, I even said it last time. We need Joe because mm-hmm. Joe is almost to my level of how much of love for the MCU. I say almost because yeah. I know a lot of stuff. I was but a wee lad when this all started. You were just a squire. <laughs> just a I was a little squire. squire. Were you getting smashed? I wasn't getting no squash and squishing. No smash. squash and squishing smash. I was a wee lad. Splash. Hulk squash. Hulk splash. It doesn't have any intimidation. <laughs> Hulk splash. Hulk, Hulk, splash. Hulk <laughs> splash is ineffective. Not from the Hulk. Not from the Hulk. I mean, there's splash damage. <laughs> so we, we did cover a lot of... <laughs> what? <laughs> Why you gotta say that's a write-up? Because it is a write-up. And this shit's back. 
Yeah. Don't you miss that, Jonathan? Magic carp. <laughs> magic carp. Magic carpa. Get on so the yes, magic carp. Avengers: Infinity War finally comes out this Friday. So actually, today when this episode comes out, yay! Go watch it this weekend. And uh, we're actually Jonathan is not. Joe and I are gonna go see it tomorrow on the Thursday. Fuck yeah! yeah. Mm-hmm. Yep. I want a third wheel of your date. Sorry. What? I didn't want a third wheel it, man. We need someone to hold the. Usually, the strongest wheel is in the middle. Is that what you're in the middle? Yeah, you see what I did there. All right. right. (laughs) So the hype is real. Yeah. What? We didn't get to talk to Joe about it to a great extent, like last time with just me and Jonathan. Fish in a barrel. And there is new things to talk about actually, since uh, we talked about Avengers. So some new stuff to bring in to this to the pot and stir it all up. Right out the get go, Joe. Just how excited are you for this film? Uh, a little bit too much. <laughs> a lot of Explain. Too much. <laughs> Explain yourself. Okay, like, we've had so much build up since 2012 uh-huh. with Thanos. Like, they had the end credit scene mm-hmm. where everybody didn't know who the hell he was because he was red. Yeah. And everybody's like, who the fuck is that? And then people started like, oh, it is him. Okay. And then we start figuring all this shit out. Then mm. we had a little peek in the first Guardians where he stood on the chair and talked shit to Ronan. Stood on the chair? Or sit on the <laughs> chair. <laughs> I will pay <laughs> the Star in your blood. And they're just looking at his dick like, shit, that scares me. Yeah. And then uh, we had a little end credit scene in Avengers Age of Ultron. He's like, I'll do it myself. Mm-hmm. He's like, why didn't you before? <laughs> like, full screen time, maybe like, what, two minutes worth? Of Thanos nah, before I mean, Avengers. Well, like, maybe, come on, we've maybe. had we've had very little. If you of him. pause it for a bit and then hit play again, you maybe. No, <laughs> <laughs> we've had very little time, and now we get to see him developed and see if he's gonna fucking kill people, which is what I hope he does. No, he will. They've already said <laughs> there's gonna be some half the cast dead. Dude, some people are making it seem like that. They're not allowed to talk about the spoilers. They're not allowed to. Uh, they have an NDA, which actually goes up in a couple hours. Actually. Uh, Apparently today, NDA, uh, non disclosure agreement. Oh, okay. I'm like NBA. Yeah. No. <laughs> National Dodgeball Association. <laughs> you can dodge a wrench. You, you can, can dodge, dodge a ball. dodgeball. Dodge a wrench. You can dodge Thanos. Throwing the moon at you. I don't think that, that, that's a pretty big dodgeball. That, that's not fair. <laughs> that, that's not regulation. <laughs> <laughs> They're cheating. Deflate gate. I swear. <laughs> Deflate gate. <laughs> but other than Thanos, man. Uh, because he can't be the only reason you're excited for this. Well, he's bringing destruction. And I want to see how the Avengers are going to handle him. Like, if you look at Ultron and Loki, like, they weren't actual good fights against him. Like, you don't get uh, Ultron. Minions and shit. The, like, you look at Ultron and Loki, they're like, all right, all right, they're badass. But they're not, like, the main boss. They're like your, they're like your filler. They're an appetizer. Thanos is the main. Like, I want to see Hulk fight Thanos. So this is what I'm waiting for. <laughs> Mm. So, are you saying for dessert you're gonna have a side of Scarlet Joe? Yes. He wishes. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> he wishes so bad. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Yeah. That's yeah. his bae. That's, that's bae. Do you like the blonde? It's weird, but I'll get over it. <laughs> <laughs> I'll get over it. I don't care. You know what my mom used to say? This is gonna sound terrible. Uh, when I took a black girl out on a date, and my mom finally saw who my date was, and she wigged out. It very, it was very comical. She's like, "Whoa, you know she's black, right?" I'm like, "Yeah, mom." It's just like, "Well, don't mind me, you know." I mean, they're all pink in the center, anyway. Wow. <laughs> yeah. Mom, <laughs> shout out for mom. <laughs> you dirty woman. Dirty woman. But she actually has a point. <laughs> well, she's blonde in this because she's like hiding out or whatever. Well, yeah, she's a, a, re, a, a fugitive. There we go. I was say like refugee. Yeah, she, no, she, no, not refugee. She, fugitive. She helped, she helped captains and uh, Winter Soldier get away. So yeah. 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 And uh, fucking, you know who are the refugees? The Asgardians. Oh yeah, well, technically. Well, I think I think they're extinct. Yeah, I, I think, think he they, killed I, them at the beginning of this movie. I really think it just real. fucks them up. Uh, which also kind of helps with uh, in the newer clips in the trailer where Thor's like, uh, I have nothing else to lose now. And then Rocket's like, well, I still got lots to lose. <laughs> cool. But it, yeah, like, oh, I, I think Loki's going to die. He lost an eye. I mean, he can lose the other eye, I guess, you know. Uh, that's something to he lose. He be checked off, too. Jeez. Yeah. But then he could be trained by Stick. Fuck yeah, that Stick was badass, man. Uh, Wait, isn't Stick dead now? Yeah, Stick's dead now. Oh, damn, never mind. 
this is the other part that bugs me. So, of course, spoilers for, like, uh, Netflix shows and previous films and all that. Uh, the Russo brothers flat out said at the beginning of when they were filming this, they're like, we want as many people as possible. So when people are like, does that mean, like, Coulson and the Netflix, you know, Defenders and all that? And they didn't say no. They are like, we want them. I thought Does that, that mean Agents a, of S.H.I.E.L.D.? I thought that was going to be a thing anyway. Because, like, they reference it so much in all those shows, so, like, why not? Well, here's here's what makes me mad, though. We just had the Defenders, but the way it ended, uh, Matt is not even in New York. Yeah, he's not. He's, like, in South America for some fucking reason. Well, that's well, closer that, to the action. Well, that's all that shit that... South America? Up. Yeah, because... The fights are happening in Manhattan and Wakanda. In Wakanda, exactly. That's Africa, not South America. No, I know that, but, like, if you're in, like, the U.S. and you gotta go all the way to Wakanda, halfway point, at least a quarter of the way there, should be South America, and then you gotta, like... You don't know your half... maps, do you? Yeah, because it's to, the, like, the left of Africa. And you that just is gotta... a complete detour. You can't go straight through. There's no landmass. I mean, unless you fly or something. But I mean, you know, hop, skip, and a jump, you'll make it. Hop, skip, and a jump. Yeah, I mean, Daredevil's a blind ninja, so. Yeah. I don't right. think there's any flying in But there. honestly, shit's going Someone down. Someone else better fly for him. <laughs> shit's going down in, in Manhattan, so it would be dumb that Danny Rand or Luke or nobody shows up while this is going down. Could you, you know imagine I mean? the team up, though, of Hulk and Luke Cage? Just standing in the middle of New York, fucking up a whole bunch of aliens. He's getting a chub right now, if you're thinking about it. Did you see it? My boner? <laughs> <laughs> so, what I was kind of getting at and trying to ask you and get you to say was, they're all coming together. Hopefully. And we're going to see some very creative combos and team-ups and all that. I mean, in the trailer we already saw Dr. Strange making platforms for Star-Lord and shit like that. Or makes the uh, sling ring for him and he, like, dives backwards and doing it. Boom! Yeah. Which we had a good laugh about. That was funny. Last time. Very cool clips out there. Yeah. Trailers are deceiving. I always remember that. Uh, trailer trickery is what I always say. Yeah, because I thought the first trailer was disappointing seeing Thanos because he wasn't all armored up. And then the second trailer came out and he is all armored up. Yeah, but that's like, a flashback. But still, I was like... I wanted to see him all armored up, you know. Well, you will in theaters. <laughs> well, the newer theaters. Tra- well, theaters. the newer trailer, we see him take his helmet off. And that looks more like uh, when he's like walking onto the Ark, to the Asgardians and all that. That's because the background kind of looks like that when he takes off his helmet in the, one of the newer trailers. So Loki, I think is going to die. I'm, call- I would I'm calling it. Oh, I think he's going to be the very first person killed. We were we were talking. Who you got? Well, no, no, no. I, no, I think the, the Nova, Nova Corps is going to be the first to die. Think about it. He's already got the Power Stone. Oh, yeah, he does have one they show up. He then. fucks up Xandar, all right? He's got to fuck up Xandar. But, like... John like, C. Riley is the first casualty, all probably. right? <laughs> we, like, looking at Loki, like, fucked up years ago. Like, he didn't yeah. take over New York like he was supposed to. Yeah, yeah we, like were, he other was we were talking about this before you showed up, and we'll, we're going to repeat ourselves. He said... He was like... Uh, he, he's on the same page as me. Yeah. He sent out Loki... He was putting it out as a gamble. One stone for two. And it failed. So now that we're seeing Loki, he's like, hey, I I got it after all. I did get it. Years later, I got it. But Ta-da! This is like, uh, no, I think he's going to be like, cool, you failed me though. Yeah, Thanos is going to take it out of his hand and he's like, wait, you didn't get it when I needed it. Boom, you did. I think he's (laughs) just going to actually tell one of his Black Order to kill him. Think so? Well, he's surrounded by them in the trailer. I think he's going to have to test her acting. He's like, oh, cool. Thank you. Thank you. Um, uh, go ahead and kill him. And I think when that's going on, he actually has Thor's head in his hand. Something like that. Because in another clip, I've been watching these religiously. All right. No, we in, in another snippet clip, mini TV spot and all that, we see Thor screaming, no! Right there next to Thanos looking away. See, I thought that was because he grabbed his head or something. No, no, no. That's a separate one. The, the other one that was originally in the Comic-Con trailer that leaked and we were trying to watch like crazy and they didn't actually show that until like the third official trailer where he's crushing his head kind of thing well it kind of feels like it no this one is he's not actually applying pressure he's just holding and you see thor looking up that way he's not doing this head up screaming in pain or in agony no he's looking where you would perceive oh loki yeah this is where the conversation and all that shit's going down and he's like 
He just watched somebody die. Mm-hmm. What if it's not Loki they kill? What if it's Heimdall? What if it's Korg? <laughs> what if it's the uh, Valkyrie Nick. trick? Oh, uh, Valkyrie, yeah. There's, there, I have plenty of questions. <clears throat> Where's Korg? Where's Valkyrie? Where's, Where's Meek? Where's Meek? Meek Meek's died. not dead, yo. <laughs> He's not dead. I've been holding him all day. <laughs> Stop <laughs> I felt bad. <laughs> well, Taika with TT did go to the premiere. It makes me hopeful. It's just like, Korg's in it. At least, hopefully, maybe a little. <laughs> He's the first one to die. Goes to open door. <laughs> oh, shit. <laughs> so Thanos comes through an airlock. Hey, man. Hey man, we're gonna go to Earth. You wanna come? <laughs> <laughs> Just me, my, my buddy Meek, and all of us survivors from Asgard. Watch your step. Those are eggs. <laughs> we have this thing called a tesseract. The what? <laughs> yeah, Loki's got it. <laughs> it's, a, it's a big glowing cube thingy. <laughs> and it wasn't really him. I kicked it. I was like, piss off, ghost. <laughs> That's my favorite line. <laughs> He's like, ghost, and he kicks the wall. <laughs> it's my fucking favorite. What if he like, went up and kicked Thanos? <laughs> oh, you're real. <laughs> He'd probably break him into a million pieces. Dude, just like Thor in Dark World to the other one? <laughs> yeah. Everybody thought that was Korg? I thought that was a reference to him, and then they did the whole reverse. Well, Korg thing. was a villain, originally, in the comics, but... Eh. Because he was in the uh, Planet Hulk little anime movie, wasn't he? Korg? I've never seen it, actually. you never seen that? No. Nope. The, the Hulk beats the shit out of Beta Ray Bill. I say, is that the one I like lent you and never got back? <laughs> <laughs> Why are you bringing up old shit? <laughs> That's a write-up. <laughs> hey, to be fair, you never asked for it back. <laughs> That's true. Oh, yeah. I, you got my treasure planet? Oh, yeah. see? <laughs> well, what do you got of his? Nobody has anything to mind, I think. No. <laughs> oh, I got your uh, Mass Effect to give back to Ellis. Oh, wow. Well, okay. <laughs> he doesn't even live in the city anymore. Yeah, no. We're a weird circle of friends here. <laughs> I got a shitload of books from David Hill <laughs> that I haven't read. But yeah, he. I thought he, uh, I thought it was the same person, but I guess they changed it up. And then in the Planet Hulk movie, he, uh, he was like, kind of like an ally to, uh, he ended up, he fought Thor and Beta Ray Bill at the beginning of that movie. He did like a I heard flashback. about that. I know, I know the events. I haven't actually seen it though. But then he became like an ally to Hulk, and then Hulk beat the shit out of Beta Ray. But he almost killed him. Damn. He was beating the hell out of him. Well, Beta. Beta. Beta Ray Bill. Oh, I almost it's a weird name to say. It really uh, is. Weird, you know he exists in the MCU in one capacity or another because his head is in the totem on the Grandmaster's tower. I really thought he might have been like a, a like a real cameo. Like he maybe he walked by or something. Like, just to have him yeah, there. Instead of having, like, like, a shrine. You mean, like, a Stanley cameo kind of? Yeah, like, like pops you don't up have to just... have him fighting in the movie, but, like... He could be in the audience for all I care. Like... Yeah! The Hulk is... <laughs> right? He, he, uh, the Grandmaster was, like, the Hulk is the champion. Like, he could have had other... Well, that's what the is implied with all the heads on the tower. Yeah. And, like, the Hulk is, like, halfway built. Yeah, because he's, the, top like, of the, the tower. new one, man. He's the newest one. Yeah. Yeah. So... You so, see. it just would have been cool to see... So, Taika Waititi's not only Korg, but he's also one of the heads of the three-headed dude. Did you know that? Really? Yeah. I can't remember if he's in the middle or the right. I didn't know that. But when you're watching, like, in the hangar when they find Loki, he's the one who's just, like, looking around not giving a shit. He's just like, oh, my God. I'm going to have to watch it again because of that now. Yeah. I highly recommend, and I'm going to make Jonathan do this with me one day, watch Thor Ragnarok with the commentary from Taika Waititi. So like when the fanfare is going and the the logo animation is going through all the big elaborate new one, fucking Taika Waititi's audio. He's going through. He's like, dun 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 dun. <laughs> Trying to go with it and all that. <laughs> this dude cracks me up so much. I fucking love Taika Waititi so much, and I've already liked his previous films. I was like, dude, this is probably my favorite director. Can you believe now. he was the same dude in Green Lantern, the curly haired friend to Ryan Reynolds? Same oh. dude. Holy shit. Same exact dude. Did you know no that? No way. Yeah, no fucking not, way. I did not know that one. No fucking way. Hmm. Same dude. Same dude. Same exact dude. Hmm. What else is he in? Oh, I don't know. Oh, jeez. <laughs> so <Hey, man>. dark. <laughs> <laughs> Got my cork up there. <laughs> so after Thanos gets the Tesseract, adds that to the gauntlet. Here's another good question we could speculate on. How the fuck does Banner get back to Earth from the Ark? Okay. You are the comic guy, so you would know what I'm talking about. But apparently, there's a comic where Thanos, like, bitch slaps the Silver Surfer, right? 
and he flies like across the universe yeah. and he lands in on earth but he lands in doctor strange's part apparently so you they, think swa- this is... they swapped out hulk for do- uh, silver Surfer. i mean that explains the hole and he lands into the fucking stairs yeah so you're saying but well, what it... i find weird is how is he dr banner again because he said in thor ragnarok he said if i change back into the hulk i might never come back well, maybe was... he got the was... hulk smacked out of him dude <laughs> i was say, i think that's because he was like afraid or something he was like nervous because he's never been hulk that long and he was like if i turn back i may never come back to banner again. yeah because two years as the hulk is a long time yeah it would and be. everybody asks is like what happens when you're sleeping you know like, you don't yeah, calm he down enough the hulk as the hulk no, it's, it's not the same chemistry anymore you, of... you pissed off at sleep just like man pillow i hate you pillow blanket you're not the Cold side, oh. bitch. Jonathan, I've already told you the tale. You know this for a fact that I could be pissed off all asleep. I threw my cat across this room. Yeah, well, that's because he thought he, like, wet the bed. No, it was just the cold part of the bed that, you know, when <laughs> you, you can't tell if it's cold or wet. Yeah, my leg moved, and I and right, next to, right next to the window, and he was laying over there, and I thought it was piss. <laughs> it was just cold. Cold piss. I woke up, grabbed that cat, and I... Th- Fucking, fucking th- flung him. He was, he was dead asleep, too, man. He's like, what the fuck? Yeah, and then you were just like, oh, what is that? Oh, oh wait, no, that's just, that's just condensation from the window, huh? Not even condensation, it's just cold. It was just cold. It was not even wet, it was just cold. Well, you see, then before he showed up, we watched that little snippet on the Jimmy Kimball show. When like like Bruce Banner knew he already everything. knows info. He already knew everything about Thanos. So like, how does he well, know everything he about knew, it that he, quick? He even called it out. He said he's got the power and and space stone. He's already the strongest creature in the universe. With if, only two stones. <laughs> and if he and <laughs> <laughs> why? That's the joke I, I would have made. I know I beat you to it. When he have bed. four then? My question is: Is he, <laughs> <laughs> is he gonna get? On that is guy? he gonna get all of them in this movie? Some people are some people are speculating it's like you know what the perfect ending is he gets all six and then he goes and if it just cuts the black and no the that's a cliffhanger I don't want it. <laughs> that's a cliffhanger that's the biggest cliffhanger, well, cliffhanger. you, you know they gonna... already filmed the fourth Avengers right they I'm filmed sure them, they did but... they filmed them back to back just like uh, what Lord they did the with Lord of the Rings and they just edited it, trimmed it out so the next Avengers is next year yeah don't lie to me. No, it is. They okay, already said 2019. But what I'm saying is... You gotta wait a whole fucking year, though. I don't want that kind of clip. <laughs> <laughs> He's like, I don't want to go to Ant-Man like, this ain't what I want. Yeah. Ant-Man was not that bad. I'm actually excited for Ant-Man. It's, Ant-Man and the Wasp. Yeah, oh, the, the, the Russo Brothers also uh, kind of let it slip that Wasp... Or no, not the Russo Brothers. It was Anthony Mackie. Already let it slip that Wasp is in it. Oh. Because in an interview, they're like, how many uh, characters can you name that are in this film? In 30 seconds, go. And he's like, bah, 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 bah. He's like, Ant-Man, Wasp. Uh, then he pauses. You know he's in his head like, fuck, am I allowed to say that? <laughs> well, Ant-Man, just, no. I that just... would make sense because Ant-Man is supposedly not supposed to take place until after. So Part before. of me feels like uh, Ant-Man and the Wasp will actually take part right before Infinity War. Yeah, because that's what because of what some of the things I'm hearing from people are like, the MCU is completely turned upside down. Like, people are coming away from this and like, I can't give you details, but everything's different now. Everything. It's all, it's, it, it's fucked up. It's, uh, it, the world is not the world anymore. And you're like, what does that mean? What? And the fact that how secretive they're being, you're just like, I just want to know what the Avengers fuck is going to happen? They said, stay through the whole film. It's like, well, I'm not leaving until they tell me. <laughs> well, yeah. say, Dude, I'm trying to sweep here. Get the fuck out. <laughs> I'll clean up for you. Just go away. I got this. <laughs> Take a break. I made this mess. So I, I will clean it up. How many Avengers are going to die? Half of them, bro. If he's going to have all the stones. And don't be, I don't want that cliffhanger, man. <laughs> Some people are scared that's what the cliffhanger is. No, I'm thinking maybe four people will die. For sure. We've like, heard, we've heard three back. for sure. And that was like a year ago. Mm-hmm. That they're like, oh yeah, at least three. Well, I mean, at least? Well, I'm going to say like, everyone knows that like Marvel lately... Every time someone gets injured or dies, they don't really oh, no. die. They, they so actually, that's why I'm like, four for sure that we can like physically they, they say clarify. they're not coming back. And the other ones are going to be like, well, maybe. Well, see, yeah. they said true, true deaths. But I also have a, a feeling that like, there's going to be some deaths. Like but an Agent some... Coulson kind of death where he got impaled and then came back. Magica. Do you know how he came back? Magica. <laughs> no. Magic. Magica. No, they used some <laughs> fucked up technology. Magica. No. Can't explain it through science. Magica. Oh my god. Yeah. Let's say that one more time. Magica. Fuck you. <laughs> <laughs> Coulson's pretty fucked up. Did you ever see that, Joe? Skyrim. 
I think I'm still on like the very first episode of the very first season. Oh my god! Uh, Agents of Shield. Three it's like halfway in. through the first season that you learn. I, I'm gonna spoil it for both of you right now. I'm sorry. Shut Spo- the spoiler fuck alert! Up. Spoiler alert! I already said that earlier. Oh, sorry. Uh, in Agents of Shield, it's called like Project uh, Magic Mal- <laughs> Malibu. We were both gonna say Project Magic. It's like Malibu or Tahiti. Close enough. We started with the it's name. It's like Project Tahiti or something like that. Mm-hmm. So like how's Tahiti? He's like it was magical. I'm not joking. He literally <laughs> does say that, and then it starts bugging him, and that's like a really quick response. Oh, I'm holding it back a sneeze. Magica. Ah. I have. It's been a while since I've I'm gonna seen kick it. your mic at you. But anyways, <laughs> here's they actually show the scene. They quickly rush his body to this Project Tahiti, and they cut open his skull, and this machine's like prickling away with like spider arms at his brain re-jumping his brain up and then when he comes to he is screaming at the top of his lungs let me die let me die it is the most horrific fucking thing i've ever seen on public television kind of thing you're like this is on amc what the fuck it's been a while abc ABC, my bad i messed that up Mm -hmm. it's been a while since i've seen the first avengers but i don't remember what they did with his body like didn't didn't that they just the let it carry blow up, up, didn't it? No, no, it didn't. Wow. Yeah. It's been a while since I've seen it. He just got stabbed, sloped over, and then dropped. that was that. Yeah. You don't see it again. And then Iron Man got the Because the they all leave at that time. The Avengers going. all leave after that. Well, they, they remember Cap and Iron Man have the conversation there, and he sees the stain. And they're like, oh, first time losing a soldier? We're not soldiers. You know, that argument. And then when he comes with the realization, it was just like, no, no, no. Loki wants this. It's his opening night. He's a, he's a theater major kind of guy. He wants his fucking name up and lights and all that. And that's where it he's dawns like, on son him. of a bitch. <laughs> he's like, oh, he's going to use my fucking tower and my arc reactor to fucking supply the... God damn it, let's go. That's that scene. Mm-hmm. But we don't actually see them tote off the body of the way. Oh, yeah. Hold on. Do you think this Avengers is going to have as much humor as other Marvel movies. So far, what I'm seeing... If there's a lot of people that are going to die, do you think there's still going to be a lot of humor? You're talking about, like, Thor Ragnarok kind of like, joke. Yeah. Joke, joke. I don't think it's going to be during the action is going on, because this is some serious shit. Yeah, Thanos is coming to town. And but <laughs> along the way, there is some sprinkled comedy. Like, I've already seen clips where they're getting off a jet right there at Wakanda to meet Ch- T'Challa and all that. And fucking... Uh, Banner leans over to Rhodey. he bows to him or something? Rhodey is just like, oh, sh- this is a king. Do I bow? And he's like, yeah, he's a king. You should bow. So then he, <laughs> fucking Ruffalo, he bows and then Rhodey's like, what are you doing? What? You oh, told me to bow. <laughs> oh, you got me. <laughs> so like, there's jokes. Uh, it's sprinkled That's out. That's another thing. We're going to have characters who have never met meet. Mm-hmm. Like Black Panther has never met the Hulk or Thor. Yeah. Uh, Guardians yeah. had never met any of them except. For well, we don't know if Thor is actually going to be coming to one. And then there's going to be like aliens come to Earth. Yeah. The yeah. onslaught. They're going to get fucked up. Yeah. Dude, those are there's some weird ass looking. They're like got aliens. like four arms or some shit. Like, yeah, it's that's crazy. No, it's going to be interesting. I like how Black Panther basically bitch slaps one away. He's like, no. Uh, we got practically almost the entire cast from Black Panther coming right back. Which is good. That's beautiful. Like, mm-hmm. Shuri is a fan favorite. She's your favorite character, I think. She was funny. Well, she's gonna... Because she did the joke about the shoes oh, God. being sneakers. sneakers. And people... You hated that joke, man. The joke was funny. It was not the funniest <laughs> joke. It was pretty What was funny. the funniest joke, When When uh, M'Baku told the white dude, I forget his name. <laughs> I will eat you. He's like, shut up. I will feed you to my children. And then he's like, I'm only kidding, we're a vegetarian. <laughs> <laughs> that's a big deal for being like, a vegetarian. Like, he was serious, man. Like, that's why I laughed so hard. He was so serious. That's my question, good. Joe. Both of us coming from a football background, where the fuck is he getting the protein for that body of his? I don't know. That's ridiculous. He's it's like vegetarian eating, bullshit. He's eating protein by the bar or some shit. Like. <laughs> it's like a chocolate shake from a skull. Yeah. I heard. <laughs> I thought you said a chocolate. T'Chaka shake. T'Chaka shake. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, I know it was dark, but not that dark. T'Chaka shake. <laughs> shake. And as you drink it, you're supposed to go, and the power of the Black Panther. <laughs> <laughs> With the little flower as the garnish on top. <laughs> the hard flowered herb. The T'Chaka shake. The T'Chaka and the T'Chaka. So, chocolate, so chocolate chocolate speaking of, of Wakanda and, and specific. T'Chaka factory. T'Challa and the Chocolate Factory. Willy, chocolate chocolate factory. Willy Wonka. Willy Wonka. Wakanda. Willy Wakanda. Wakanda. Willy Wakanda. Wakanda and the chocolate factory. Put that shit on a t-shirt too. Willy Wakanda and the chocolate factory. The T'Challa factory. The T'Challa factory. 
<laughs> but then, like, oh. hold on a second. Here's a good bridge to this. Uh, speaking of Wakanda and the heart shaped herb and all that, some people speculate that the meteorite that's practically just all vibranium mm-hmm. has encased in it the soul stone because it would help explain the spirit realm that they visit the ancestral plane in Black Panther. Which is a thing directly from the comics. It's said that the Soul Stone, its greatest power, other than just being one of the six, uh, you can actually talk to the dead, but you have to go into a basically a pocket dimension that's in the stone. That's where souls go and all that. And that just, does that not scream to you? Ancestral plane and all that? Yeah, no, I, I can see that. Uh, and here's another catch that's going to go right, right back to the conversation of who do we think is going to die, which I think is practically this entire episode. Uh, to activate the soul stone properly, you have to give up a loved one. Mm. You have to sacrifice someone you love. And how many times has it been beat over our head? Gamora is my favorite. And then the trailers are showing their meeting, showing flashbacks and stuff like that. Right at the get-go... Knowing this, I think Gamora is going to be dead. Oh, uh, I was going completely opposite of what you just thought, man. Captain America loves Bucky, man. He's going to kill Bucky. What all. the? That's his boo, man. It's He's going to be like, you know what? Boo. You've been my boo for a while. It's time for you to die so the rest of my people can live. So let's go. Really? No. Man, he like, went to war you for think Bucky. Captain America would not sacrifice his own life first before offering someone There else? you go. That's, I mean, that's more accurate. Okay, that is opinion. more accurate. But... <laughs> What are you thinking, Joe? <laughs> He's like, but you love me. I you died. said that. You said, you said in order to use it, someone has to sacrifice someone they love. Yeah. It, so it, you're it, saying he's selfish and he loves himself. No, Bucky. <laughs> Bucky kills him, or sacrifices, or he sacrifices himself. I mean, Bucky loves him just as much. Yeah. Maybe. Yeah. Plus, I mean, how much do you need to sacrifice? Because he's like incomplete. Like, does he need like 100 percent or give another arm? <laughs> <laughs> Remaining balance, one arm. We got Shit. Back here. We'll be all right. <laughs> okay. Oh. Someone, hands up, hands up. All right, you give me that one. Rocket's like, we need an arm. <laughs> I really thought they were going to show the Soul Stone in Black Panther because we didn't see no, like, Jack no, shit. No, it, it was its own self-contained standalone. Yeah. yeah. There's barely any like attachments to the rest of the universe, yeah. which is beautiful and why I think it's so successful. No, that's what I was telling everyone. Like even people who weren't fans of it, you know, I would just talk about it. like you can go watch a movie. It's you, self-contained. You don't even think about it. it's a superhero movie half the time. You just know it's it's a movie and you enjoy it. And a lot of people did and they came back. Kind of like Winter like, Soldier. And they're like, yeah, that movie is actually pretty cool. Like there was some superheroes I recognized, but that's it, you know. So I got a great question for you. Oh, Gwen? Gwen? I got a great question for you. Oh, Clay. What movie do you think? turned it on for the MCU to be like everybody's like oh my god I can't believe we're a part of like this is a part of my life this is a part of my life uh, okay so for, as the fans right yeah oh. I'm gonna say the Winter Soldier man that, I'm gonna say the Winter Soldier turned it on really hang on hang on real quick it, tur- before, it turns you on well, I, that too I that's for it, sure I know it turned it <laughs> on but before that movie <laughs> hey before that movie uh, what happened like well hang on, on real second. quick what I'm gonna answer this one real quick yeah. I know it turned it off for Joe because it did to me too Iron Man 3, that's when I was just like, yeah, man, we might hop off this wagon for a second. Because after that... And one, I just I say just... fuck you to both of you. I think that was the stall moment was Iron Man 3. But then, like, when Winter Soldier came out, it was like, it was just something Well, they different. had to backpedal because the biggest thing that people complain about about Iron Man 2, even though Joe loves it, uh, a lot of people said is just, like, over-the-head promotional for Avengers. Like... About the time they were making Iron Man 2, they're like, yeah, we, we know we're going to go to Avengers. So they saturated it yeah. with lead up for Avengers and all that. And people are like, we're not getting a sequel. We're getting a like, half-assed sequel with like a half-assed hype man for Avengers. So that's the biggest complaint people have about Iron Man 2. It didn't 2. feel like a sequel. It feels like a point well, five what, kind of Like thing. the first half feels pro- proper. Yeah. But the second half of Iron Man 2, they're like, oh my gosh, shut the fuck up about this Avengers lead up shit. Just get to, okay, here's the fight. Okay, that was a disappointing fight. Okay. Oh, the chase scene. Okay, that's interesting. Okay. Oh, oh it's over. Mm-hmm. That's how people react to Iron Man 2. Iron Man 3, they had to backpedal from that because they're like, we know where we fucked up. We can't do this kind of over-the-top promotional stuff and just kind of show his life after all these events happened, which was the PTSD and all that. Mm-hmm. Which then... Someone would have. Shut, shut up. Shut up. Shut up. 
you need Iron Man 3 to help reinforce all of Tony Stark's actions from there on in. Ultron. Why did he make Ultron? Because they didn't want to do it anymore. Or he didn't want them to do it anymore. No. Well, He's for... paranoid yeah. about a second invasion. He even says it. It's like, we're standing 500 feet from where it happened. What are your guys' plans to deal with that? You know? Oh, yeah. He calls him out on that. It's his paranoia. And it gets even more uprooted from Scarlet Witch. She's like, I saw his fears. He's he's fucking mental because he saw some shit. Yeah, they were all Which dead. helps fuels his entire new arc. Some people will call it a negative arc. If you follow like uh, character arcs, creations, and, and stuff like that in screenwriting. It's technically a negative arc. Because he goes hellbent on a crusade that he a lot of times just shoulders the entire weight of it. That's why he builds a shitload of suits. He's freaking the fuck out. That's why he makes the Iron Legion. That's why he wants to make Ultron. That's why uh, when some accountability gets slammed in his face, he's like, oh, shit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I was already feeling bad and shitty about that. I, this is, makes it even worse. It pushed him off the, over the edge. At the same time that there is new attention, the Lagos situation, he's like, yeah, we need to be put in check. Whatever form that comes, I'm game. I'm literally quoting the movie. Yeah, no, I, <laughs> I am the MCU yeah. philosopher. No. But it, it, you need Iron Man 3 for that. If I, you I, had I, all of those actions and it was without Iron Man 3, straight from Avengers, it wouldn't stand up as strong as it does. I'm not saying they didn't build yeah. up the Tony Stark Iron Man character great because they did. I'm saying they did a stupid shit with an actor playing an actor playing a villain. Yes, <laughs> that, that's yeah. the only thing I hated about that movie. That was like, my really? biggest problem because, like, Mandarin. He's like, oh, like, hi, I'm Trevor. Yeah. Like, the fuck you say? No, no, you're supposed to be the Mandarin, dude. You're you better get off your ass. Use those rings. Even though that, they were fake. That, that was my problem. That's also you hyping it up. The trailer didn't hype. When did you see magic in the trailer? Well, they have to hold Sh- something. Yeah. No, no. Yeah. No. You did that to yourself. I was like, I was, this is what I was hoping for, man. Everybody's hoping, yeah. I was like, there's the Mandarin. That's Iron Man's Joker right there. Like, this is going to be the shit. Basically, (laughs) yeah. And And then all of a sudden, it's like, oh, hi, I'm Trevor. Yeah. The fuck you? Well, granted, I wasn't actually expecting, you know, to see full on Mandarin. I actually did think, I was like, it's It's going to be a lead up into another one with the actual Mandarin. Technically, it did, because then All Hail the King came out afterwards. Yeah, but I mean, I'm talking about like a feature length movie, not like a little, like, hey, watch this on YouTube make you feel better about yourself i'm like oh, okay well that did make me feel better about myself well if iron man doesn't die he won't you think they would do an I'm iron man kidding. 4 just late in the game i like, wouldn't say iron man 4 i would just say he would just keep continuing on with like uh ensemble kind of shit yeah. but mandarin is like he's very a much an one. option yeah plus one that's why they made the one shot that's another good question who do you think is going to get a four to their movies uh, thor if he doesn't die you think he's going to get a fourth one? Yeah. You think Cap's going to get a fourth one? I think Cap's going to die. Oh, you're calling he's, his death. So yeah. is it a sacrifice? No. I'm, 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 <laughs> no, just no. Be right. I want to no, be right. I truly am believing that it's going to play out just like in the comics at the end. Gamora's going to die. Okay. She's already uh, fixed her relationship with Nebula. Because in the... Uh, in, in the, the last... Yeah, in the yeah. actual Infinity I War... I love you too. Nebula's, Nebula's the one who gets a hold of the Infinity Gauntlet and fix everything. Yeah. Because she just saw her her sister die, that's how Thanos is going to activate the Soul Stone. Ah, I'm holding back another sneeze. Damn it! <laughs> Stop. Well, I think the only one who's going to get a four is probably Thor. And that's I, what I, I said. I didn't mean yeah. to rhyme for that, but it happened. That's because <laughs> Thor Ragnarok was so good. It was an anomaly though, because uh, they asked the Russo regardless brothers, whoever lives or dies. I don't think any of them are going to get a four. Really? Yeah. What about the Hulk? Would you want him to get a four? He, he doesn't even he get, a get a two. two. He doesn't, he doesn't get a two. Oh, he he doesn't, have a two. He's not allowed to have a solo. You know We're, why? Well, it's technically still property of Universal. Uh, yeah. Okay. He's still, well, I was gonna say like uh, he's still out there in the yeah. Well, he's allowed to in the movie realm. Show up. <laughs> yeah. But after Incredible Hulk and how much of a failure it was. Yeah, because I was hoping. Shut up, like, Joe. It was a failure. It was a great movie. No, it wasn't. People. If actually, I, hang on. In the comments I, below, you know what to hey, say. Hey, when I rank the MCU, I put Incredible Hulk as the bottom. Why? Because it was shit. Why was it's it my so, least favorite. I'm I like gonna, Spike Lee's Hulk more. Yeah, Why I'm was not, it so bad? I'm not gonna lie. I'm not a fan of it either. So I agree with David on that one. It so was you're the odd man Edward Norton, Academy Award winning actor, monotone. Well, he's an asshole in real he life. He so made his. He, he made. A, <laughs> I didn't pick him. If I would have picked somebody else, I would have picked somebody else. But I didn't <laughs> pick, pick well, Mark technically, Mark Ruffalo yeah. was the first choice, but he wasn't available. 
That, that's what 13 I hear. 13 going on 30. I love that movie, Dick. No, I'm, thinking, <laughs> yeah, yeah, I'm just saying, like, you know. Uh, what was I going to say? The Hulk, I don't like the way he looks at all. Because he's green and ugly? He just, it's, they went. Well, he was a darker green. They guy. went full tilt linebacker Hulk. And I don't like it. Even though you were a linebacker. No, I was fat ass. Oh, wait, no, you were just a defensive end, or a defense line. Hey, okay. speaking of Hulk, you're wearing a Hulk shirt. Yeah, I am, because yeah, that's just... a good old Mark Ruffalo Hulk. Yeah. Well, I agree that the Hulk in Incredible Hulk doesn't look the best. It's but however, shit. he's got the weird how glowing many, eyes. How many Hulks have used a cop car as boxing gloves? And Why do you use this every time? That's not impressive. <laughs> Thank you, people. You know His what? fists are stronger than the damn car. He gets a couple swings in. What happens to those gloves? They break apart. What was the fucking I'm point, just Joe? Saying, man, what he, was the he, fucking he, point, he Joe? Using cop cars, boxing gloves. Even better, tank to bat a tank. That was another one. That was Spike Lee's exactly. whole character. Exactly. That's, That's why I said better. Using a whole, uh, using a fucking tank to hit a tank. He even takes a missile, spits it at another missile. That's why I said yeah. better. It was cooler. <laughs> but that was like the real. That was like back in the day when they actually used the comic book cutouts on movie screens. And I loved it. And then he was like real comic book Hulk because he had purple shorts on and everything. And like he turned his way to San Francisco, they've too. They've gone away from that since then. They don't yeah. use purple shorts anymore. I'm glad they went from linebacker Hulk to a, a, a gorilla-ish Hulk in Avengers. And then they kind of corrected that into just a... He's a big fucking beast, dude. And he should be. A hulking creature. He's a Hulk, so you don't need to base it off of something. Just let him do what you see him do all the time in the comics. Kick ass, and he's huge and strong, and piss the fuck off. Okay, question for you. Thor Ragnarok. There and you, go. you, both of you. All right. All right. I know this is not the greatest questions to ask, but who do you think's in the Hulkbuster suit? Do you think that's Banner? You, you no, it's already it's been Banner. revealed. Oh, it is. You okay. know how toys keep spoiling shit for movies? Oh, okay. There is a toy or a, a snippet or something that's already been revealed of Hulk breaking out of the Hulk armor. Like he's gonna pilot it as Banner and because of that angry. whole Ragnarok yeah. thing. He's like, I can't transform again. That'll be bad. It'd be very, very bad. But it's going to come to dire need, and he's going to, like, probably what we saw in the trailer when he gets, like, wave of onslaught, tackles, uh, you know, tackles him down to the ground. Mm -hmm. It's probably that moment right there where he's like, okay, and busts out as the Hulk. That's right. when. Okay, it it well, is Banner. If I was Bruce Banner, I'd be Hulk all the damn time. <laughs> <laughs> With that giant green dick. It's oh, in, my, it's in brain. my brain now. It's in my brain. <laughs> it's so fucking oh. funny. Uh, okay, so I say Thor's gonna get a four. Should Black it be? Black Panther's gonna get hey, a trilogy. Hey, hey, a which trilogy. Di which director should do it then? <laughs> Taika Waititi. 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 Did you say Tiger? <laughs> yeah, him too. <laughs> Taika. Black Panther's gonna get a trilogy. <laughs> say the name again. That's funny. <laughs> Black Panther's gonna get a trilogy. Well, duh. Know. And uh, I think Captain Marvel. I don't know how many movies she's gonna get, depending on how. Her first I know they're one filming does. her so solo one right now. Depending but... on how her first one does, she may get three. Russo Brothers already spoiled it. She's in Infinity War at some point. So, yeah. I mean, Scarlet kind of spoiled it too. She's like, oh, I love all these women on the crew now. Well, that would and make then she sense. listed them off and she said Brie Larson. You're like, whoa, 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 whoa. what? That would make sense because isn't the Captain Marvel movie supposed to take place in the 90s? I don't know. So I, I become, heard something similar of that. If so. she becomes Captain Marvel in the 90s, then she should already be Captain Marvel now. So she should be fighting this war. Technically. Technically. Where's she been this whole time? Fucking off. South, South America. America. That's right up. <laughs> she she no. brings him to the action. That's there where Hulk go. was. Exactly. <laughs> then he gone and fucked up the economy of Brazil. Yeah. Anyways. And With a single Harlem. drop of blood. <laughs> oh my. <laughs> then he wrecked Harlem. Yeah. The Harlem shake. He broke, he broke Harlem. He broke Harlem. It's funny. I didn't know that was Harlem really. Until uh, it was mentioned in Avengers. Yeah, yeah he said I kind of wrecked Harlem. Kind of, yeah. Oh. Oh, okay. Wow, you were that far north on the island. Okay. My mind just... Everything that happens in New York, it's always down in downtown. Yeah. Or Hell's Kitchen, which is like right next to it. They just need to put everybody in a movie. Make billions of dollars. Central Park. Four-hour movie. <laughs> next one, Central Park right there, and then they'll move it up. I like... The suburbs. I'm from the suburbs, man. The suburbs. <laughs> so we know Th uh, Thanos is going to get the power orb okay. mm -hmm. from Novacore. So he's going to destroy that whole planet to get it, right? Or just Novacore, you know, their headquarters. He's going to probably just fuck it up 
Xandar is getting hit one way or another. Either if it's the whole planet gets fucked up or just the Nova Corps. Don't know. He gets it. All right. I ain't even predicting this movie to start out with such a scene that is just literally other annihilation. That's going to be like Xandar. Like destroying Xandar and then finding the ship of uh, Thor and Loki and then killing all of them. <laughs> like <laughs> You just want like a slaughter from the start. What I want is... <laughs> start with the slaughter. Death. Like, <laughs> Thanos is your main course, man. You've been building him up for six years, John. Man, he hungry. <laughs> no, you. You. I'm hungry. I'm waiting to see some fuckery, all right? He's I'm like, some I'm fuckery. waiting for seconds. <laughs> He's like, I don't want cliffhanger. I'm hungry. <laughs> but don't you want to see something great? Like, Yeah, I want the movie to start off with Xandar on fire. And you're talking about me. I didn't say on fire. No, you, no, he's saying <laughs> destruction's done. You're saying I want to see saying the destruction. I'm saying we're seeing the half, the second half of the fucking attack on Xandar. That's where I wanted to come in on. Yeah, you're talking about it's already started. He's saying he's like I want to just see a lineup of like casualties. What I really want, I want, I want, <laughs> I want people, little kids, and families running in terror and screaming as the headquarters for the Nova Corps is getting fucked up, and then Thanos comes out and hell. Uh, what's putting Nova Prime in there? You know, Glenn Close is fucking on the brink of death, and she sees Thanos walk right by her, and he just goes in there and grabs, him, and he's like, "All right, this is what I came for." That's what really that's what see, I want. <laughs> I just really want to see every Avenger we know in the MCU right now land on the ground in front of Thanos, and they all try to fight him. I'll try. I'll try. I'll try. I'll what try. one of the uh, half of them don't succeed? Half of them will not. One succeed. of the TV spots we see Spider Man get a good kick in his face. Yeah. He also got choke slammed. He also w- was like, WWE w- 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 style, he got chokeslam right in the ground. Yeah. Shit, dude. Well, fucking Tony, non-glove hand, knocks him down to the ground. Yeah. That's beautiful. <laughs> I'm just saying, man. He's your main boss. If he doesn't do some fuckery, then he's there's no point to him. Nah. You yeah. keep saying fuckery, and I think of Deadpool. Sorry. Which comes out next month. <laughs> he's always like, I'm, I'm ready for the second one. Like, you see them in the trailer and he calls out Thanos? Yeah, he also said, "This you're so dark. You must be from the DC universe. <laughs> <laughs> Still beautiful. Anyways, back back to what we are talking about. Uh, let's see. So we know where the Power Stone is. We know where the Tesseract Space Stone is. Mm-hmm. We have our theory about the Sun's Soul Stone. However, I still am in the camp of it's Heimdall. Because how else does he sees people all the time? Magic. Does Norse cra- magic. Stop it. Crazy stuff. And also, oh, his yeah. eyes and all that are the same color as what the stone is supposed to be. So, so maybe that's who he kills at the beginning. He, like, rips his head off. Like, Helio style from uh, God of War. Oh, gosh. When he ripped his head off, and he used I, it as a light. I, I, <laughs> you don't remember that? Oh, you don't I've seen the clip. You know? I don't have PlayStation, PlayStation man. But, I mean, I thought they were just going to say, like, he just rips it off of, you know, something, you know, like... No, no, you're Kratos talking about like, the head. You're talking Kratos about Kratos. Literally rips his head off, God, and then uses it as a light. Yeah, <laughs> that that is actually pretty creative. I'm yeah. Not lying. So like phone? Thanos would rip his head off. <laughs> my phone. That, isn't there one clip of Thanos like smashing the tesseract and making it small so I can go in the? Yeah, the the, the stone what if is. He does in that there. to Heimdall's head. That's just, some dark shit. That's DC. We can't do that. Well, they're gonna. Damn. Some fuckery, like you said. I don't really want Heimdall to die. No, he's too bad. Idris Zilber is a good actor. Like, Hell yeah. You just kill him off like that? I want if him to be the next If they do kill him James off, Moore. then he should be John Stewart Green Lantern. Enough said. <laughs> no. Yes. <laughs> now you want this, him to get killed. Kill him off so he can make more money. <laughs> no, DC doesn't deserve him. <laughs> they don't, but he'd be a great oh, John man. Stewart. He, he would, but so technically would be a lot of other actors. One day we'll Michael talk. Michael B. Jordan, I understand. No, no, they can't have him either. No. We, we grabbed him. He was a villain. <laughs> We didn't use him right. We should have used him more. I maybe he's still alive technically. He did. He he just fainted for lack of blood. You know. He did. It is Wakanda. Like they could just put him on ice. Mm-hmm. I mean, he's got the beads. But he's, he's not another broken white boy, so they can't do that. Broken white boy. <laughs> you, don't, you don't remember that? <laughs> I line? know okay. that. Line. You brought another broken white boy for me to fix. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And I was like, another? Who is that? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Whoops. I got the white wolf on, uh, mm-hmm. they had him on ice. Yep. That's going to be a drink now. Can I have white wolf on ice? A white wolf on ice? I, I just gave one. you a drink. <laughs> Pay me. Why are you gotta, scared at the laptop? <laughs> <laughs> Pay me. <laughs> we got to look that one up. I'm pretty sure that it's already like, it probably a is. white wolf on ice. Huh. That's not a real drink, is it? Better. Google. Uh, well, well, later. <laughs> yeah. Going through the stones right now. 
We know where the time stone is. The eye of Agamotto. That's uh, Doctor Strange is wearing neck. it casually. Mm -hmm. In poor vision. In vision. Poor vision. Paul Bentony's a good actor too, and they're just gonna like yeah. rip his dome off too. <laughs> There's gonna be a lot of beheading in this movie. <laughs> <laughs> if I was the director, it'd be a lot of heads <laughs> everywhere. <laughs> You're like the body's here, the head's over there. Fuck. I mean, they already showed that part in the very first trailer where he's like on the ground and they got his foot to his throat and thing to his head. And like, yeah, so yeah, the little. It ain't looking good for him. So we also see uh, more connection between him and Scarlet Witch. They're gonna have a uh, weird red babies, right? They had weird red Go babies for in the comics, didn't they? Uh, they, they had they had children. Nothing's impossible, man. Uh, aliens. He just have a vibranium. Elizabeth dick. Olsen let it. Uh, <laughs> what? Why? I said he has a vibranium dick. Hard for days. <laughs> That's your lightsaber. That's his dick. Oh. <laughs> I know you have something to say. I'm just waiting. For I was it. gonna go for an Energizer Bunny reference. <laughs> <laughs> I just couldn't bring myself to it. But yeah, they made like actually have a love story in it. Kind Which of. is good. Uh, Elizabeth Olsen the other day on a press conference said they've been talking about making a House of M adaptation. Which is very important with especially their relationship and all that. And uh, she's like, No, we're there she basically confirmed this like they're 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 close. Rightfully so. Yeah. Why do I have to sneeze all the time? So you think he's going to get all the stones in this one? Because basically, gonna... it's pretty obvious. They're, they're like, okay, put Vision in Wakanda, and we're going to hold it off. We can't let him get all the stones. You think that's like the last ditch ever? They, they, they even said the, the Battle of Wakanda is the, the third act of the film. Yeah. They've already said that. Well, I hope. I don't want that to be like the beginning, and then just like... It's kind of obvious Manhattan shit is the beginning. Yeah. That's why I was just like, well, you know, I don't... You know. Well, why is, what's that glowing shit on Tony's chest? Because he doesn't have an arc reactor in him anymore. <laughs> yeah, he shit can that in uh, Iron Man 3. Yeah. He hasn't needed one for a while. <laughs> why is he wearing that? Like, in the in the new TV spot, uh, it shows Doctor Strange showing up, and he's like, Tony Stark, uh, I need you. It, we, we need your help. The entire universe is at stake right now. Mm -hmm. And he's there in a park with Pepper. Central Park. Central Pepper. Probably, actually. Yeah, told you. Yeah, it's told you. I said it. Rewind this video like 20 minutes. No. I said Central Park. My thing is, how is... And we're back. <laughs> so why is he wearing... What is that? How is certain characters going to meet? Because Thor is the only one to meet Dr. Strange so far. And he's going to be... Well, technically Loki, too. Yeah. <laughs> I've falling been falling for, for 30 minutes! Well, yeah. <laughs> Best part. So it's like, it's going to be the Bruce Banner tie-in when he falls in through his house or his... With that little... Sanctum, I gotta think Banner witnesses a lot. I mean, how else does he know about power and space stones? How does he know this? Uh, if we collect all four, all six, you Loki's you know. gotta start spilling the beans. Maybe he like spilled his guts out on the ship before he dies. Maybe he's what? like, yo, there's this purple dude. He's badass. He's gonna kill all you. And he showed me all this shit. And then Banner gets bitch. I think it would be more thing. likely that Thanos does the uh, expose kind of stuff. Hmm. He's just like monologuing it. Maybe, yeah. He's like, like, look, I got one already. This is number two. You know what happens when I get all six? <laughs> Let me tell you. Yeah. See, and Banner's I, like hiding in the corners, like, oh, honestly, shit. figured it'd be like Banner being like, you know, the scientist guy, being smart. He'd be like on the computer doing research and stuff. And since you know, like, hey, what else are you gonna do on a spaceship on the way to Earth? You know, Just it's also well, stuff up. Him, it's also, him currently on the ship, he's the Hulk, right? Yeah, now. yeah. But I mean, I figured maybe he can tone it down a bit. You know. For all like we know, this is one of the Grand Master ships, and Grand Master is the brother of the Collector. And in Very the comics, true. they're Celestials. There could be some knowledge on that ship or something. So, something I maybe. was saying, like, maybe, you know, he'd be Banner and just research. Who knows? Where's the Collector? Because that's the ether. He's going to die. The reality stone. He's going to die. We don't know if he actually has it, because his place gets fucked up in Guardians. And that's all we know. Like, the post credit scenes happens before, obviously, mm -hmm. from Thor Dark World where they bring the ether to him. But is it still there? Did he hand it off? Was it in a safe when the place blew up? You know, it's like, is it still in nowhere? Because we don't know. 
That's a pretty random place for it, too. Nowhere. Nowhere. I put it nowhere. And now some people are speculating that Captain has the reality stone. Like, how the fuck did he get it? Don't know. So much speculation. Do we know how many years have passed since Civil War into this movie? Uh, they said... Because Black Panther is like a week or two after, right? After Civil War? Yeah. Yeah. And then <laughs> Spider-Man's first few scenes are directly after. And then it skips ahead, what, uh, four or five months? Something like that. Uh, Guardians has a weird skip between Volume 1 and well, Volume 2. It's only long, two months. I'm trying to figure out how long that Cap's been like on his own. You know? As Nomad? Yeah. Because uh, uh, he's full beard. Well, he's been away a while. Hmm. Unless you grow hair fast. The only well, thing so far... Does, maybe, you know? He's so, kept the super soldier serum. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so far, the only kind of recent engagement we've gotten was in Ragnarok. They said Ultron was two years ago. Hmm. And that's where we get the whole... I've been with Hulk and for Hulk two years. And Thor don't know that all their friends had a little squabble. I can't wait to hear about that. <laughs> when, when like, Banner hears about it. They're like, why like where's Cap? Us? Yeah, some shit went down. Why didn't you call us? <laughs> Couldn't reach you. <laughs> Do you have uh, a phone? No. <laughs> Why would I have one? <laughs> <laughs> but you could send a electronic letter. It's called an email. Oh, do you have a computer? Why would I have one? <laughs> <laughs> so funny. Shit, so much speculation. So so we need answers, bro. We need them now. I'm waiting six years, guys. Well, ten if you want to include everything. From the beginning. That's a long time, man. For, especially for movies, and they're all Shit intertwined time. and intertwined and entertained. Yeah. No, you ran out of interwords? Yeah, I did actually. Oh. You don't have a thesaurus. A thesaurus. A thesaurus. A thesaurus? No? It's a joke you would do. Why would it be a joke I would make? Thorsaurus. Thorsaurus. What? The f- thesaurus. Thorsaurus. You get it. Oh. Alright. No. I think. I think Drax is going to kill Thanos when that he would does be come cool to it. Because that, was, that would be legit. I mean, he ripped his heart out yeah. in the comics. Like Mortal Kombat style. Yeah. Like, yeah. <laughs> and then shove it down his throat. That would be real Mortal Kombat style. D- d- shit, no. Yeah. <laughs> the kids are still or in the audience. Or you push your oh, hand through cool. his chest and then the heart is on the other side and you squeeze it and then you come back out. No? Alright. <laughs> <laughs> Just stare at him. Hmm. He'll get nervous and make up his own shit. No, alright. Okay. Uh, Loki... Cap. Loki, Cap. And... Wong. I'm just going Gamora. Like, I'm going like big name people. Oh. No, they did say it was some big names. Wong's been in one movie. Well, I wasn't going to say he's a big name, but he's there for a reason. And that is the die. I don't picture him killing up Zoe, man. I don't picture it. Yeah. Maybe for like five seconds and everybody's like, bring the green girl back. <laughs> bring, the <laughs> bring the green, green girl, girl back. back. <laughs> Hulk shows up with a wig. He's like, what? he's like, sister. <laughs> she Hulk. <laughs> Dude, okay. I am disappointed in Civil War for one reason. They brought back Ross. I was like, give us Red Hulk. I was what I was hoping for. And now to happen. Because there ain't no Betty Ross no more. He wants that. He wants they that never blood. elaborated what that shit was he at the beginning. He wants that black widow vagina. <laughs> that, that, what Crossbones was stealing from that chemical lab? Disease lab? I thought that was like some of Banner's blood. That would have been great. They got their hands on that. And then Ross accidentally gets infected and then becomes Red Hulk. Okay. I was sitting through that entire movie going, we need Red Hulk. How is this going to happen? Thunderbolt Ross, guy. Now, if they tie in all that X-Men shit, we can have the Thunderbolts. Dude. Dude. Because Deadpool was part of that yep. too. Yep, he was. That was a cool comic to hear about. I didn't actually get to read it, but I had some buddies there who were like, dude, this is some crazy shit. I think there is going to be some Fox fuckery somewhere. In this movie? Yeah. I mean, come on, Reality Stone technically can solve that problem. They're like, we need more help. Just us can't take on Thanos and how strong he is. Let's look at parallel universes. Oh, look at this one. There's a shitload of powered people. Oh, they're called mutants. Okay. Boom. And then later down the road, you can have your AVX movie. Mm Mm-hmm. We were just... I was just showing you all this kind of... I was just showing him all that... Don't know. Maybe. And then Marvel's everybody who 
is in that company could just make millions and millions and millions of I dollars. Will, <laughs> I promise you this. If I see, like, any of the Defenders, any television actors, like Quake, if Agent Quake shows up and Coulson, and if they have anybody from a, a Fox property, any character, if Wolverine shows up out of a sling ring and he's like, hey, uh, Doctor Strange just said you need my help. If anything of that sort happens, I will stand up and I'll be like, game over, DC. Fucking give up. Oh, yeah. That is game over. That's checkmate. The so. only disappointing thing is, Hugh Jackman wouldn't be Wolverine. That'd be the only, I would want, who would you cast? See, Hugh Jackman was actually saying uh, the only person he would trust to play the role is Tom Hardy, and we now know him as Eddie Brock. So, fuck do I know. Taiko Watiti. That's it. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking yeah, give him some claws and... <laughs> hey, man. <laughs> hey, man. Wanna get cut up? <laughs> Wanna, like, slice and dice you? <laughs> I used to be rock. Now I'm scissors. <laughs> <laughs> that was actually really good. Yes! <laughs> David came up with I a good joke. I think Jonathan's jealous. Oh, boy. Because yeah. you, you know he beat you to that. I didn't. Oh, you know. <laughs> Shut I up. I didn't think of it. Oh, that was funny. <laughs> Just let me have this, Joe. All right. Yeah. All right, thank you. Uh, we've hit the hour mark. Yeah. <laughs> Possibilities are endless with this movie, man, without us knowing. I mean, the the, the secrecy they've gone through this entire production, it's making me speculate even more of they're doing something off the rails. Mm-hmm. Like, you, you thought you saw ahead and you're like, okay, I know where this is going, and then all of a sudden, ah, fuck, you know? Because people's reactions so far, they can't say nothing, but they're like, dude, everything's different. Yeah. And the level of secrecy during production with the scripts... That's crazy. Not one actor, except for Robert Downey Jr., knows the whole story. They've kept that hidden. They actually handed out scripts to everybody with missing pages and redacted uh, parts of it. Like, okay, obviously I'm having a, a scene with Black Panther, but there's apparently a third person here, but it's all blacked out. And then I thought I would continue on, but the next page is gone. What the fuck? And they're like, yeah, you're not allowed to know. They flat out made Tom Holland burn his script after he read it. <laughs> well, he's young. He'll just be like, hey, yeah, did Ed- you know Spider-Man did this and this and this with this person in this movie? And Tom, like, Wait, Tom, that movie's not out yet. <laughs> Tom Holland and Mark Ruffalo are the ones that the cast and crew always point out. They're like, who's the most untrustworthy or the most loose-lipped person? And everybody immediately is like, those motherfuckers right there. <laughs> you see them two? Hulk and Spider-Man? <laughs> them two, they like to fucking talk. <laughs> Dude, how cool would it be if Hulk, like, throws somebody at Thanos? Do they survive? <laughs> <laughs> Just think of the team-ups we could have now. Like, oh, man. if all this shit comes together, you finally see a live-action Wolverine versus Hulk. Hmm. Like, did you see the anime? But why are they fighting in this universe? Who cares? <laughs> <laughs> did you see the He Hulk? threw scissors. <laughs> did you see I threw Hulk a rock. Versus, did you see Hulk vs. Wolverine, the little anime movie? That yeah. one I did see. That's because there was a Thor movie. one, too. That's the one I let you do. Shut up. Let's not talk about that. <laughs> it was in the collection. <laughs> but it got bloody. I want them back. <laughs> that shit got bloody, man. It was pretty good. Like, just imagine that live action. Yeah. Imagine that rated R old man Logan. Oh, how how that cool would it be great. if... Hugh Jackman Wolverine like came back and said, "Hey, I want to do this." Falls into their universe and they analyze him and they're like, "Okay, this metal in him is fucking crazy. It's not we see brain. traces of vibranium, but it's something else." And that's where you're like animadium. Dun, da, 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 da. Fuck some shit up. Do you think Cap is gonna get his shield back? Yeah, he said someone get this man a shield, so he's probably gonna build him another one. Oh no 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 no! I'm saying the shield. Oh. You think there's going to be a moment, like, those shields, one of them gets taken off somehow, because in the clip where he's holding up Thanos, it's missing. Yeah. Uh, do you think after those are gone and he's facing off, someone's going to show up and like, Cap! <laughs> you think there's going to be one of those glorious moments? Well, I'm pretty sure, like, if they're in Wakanda, like, what's her name, homegirl, she can, like, hook Sherry. them up. Sherry, yeah. I wasn't Sherry on the name, though. But <laughs> <laughs> oh, my gosh. <laughs> Anyways, I'm pretty sure she can hook him up with some cool, like, you know, attachment gadgets. Like, oh, that's Yeah, with her head. level. Stark already did. Better, because her level is just. Her level of intellect and all the technology that Wakanda has, like, Iron Man shit about the skyrocket. Like, yeah. <laughs> well, it already did, because we see, we see his suit his activate. His legs come together he's, and. He's got, he's got nanotech now, because it's building onto him. That's Wakanda tech. He's already probably. So why can't the shield be kind of like just 
from the arm, man. That would be brutal. That would be really sick. That would be cool. But then it would remind me of, like, Galvatron and shit from fucking Transformers. <laughs> Oh, the little digital... I fucking hate that. Oh, man. <laughs> I thought the Transformer, like, that way they transformed was, like, neat because it was different. Then I was like, I don't know. I'm not feeling it. Nah, I didn't like it at all. Then they neat. then they went away with all of that in the next one of last night when Megatron and all that. You're like, thank God. <laughs> Ugh. Transformers. More than meets the eye. Bullshit. <laughs> I didn't watch the newest one, so I, I, I don't know. I can't. You want to borrow it? Am I getting it back? <laughs> Eventually. If one thing you've learned on this podcast is we don't give shit back once we borrow it. We just give each other shit about shit. Yeah. yeah. And write-ups. And, and write-ups. Ups. And we also learned Joe just wants decapitation. I just want to see... <laughs> he wants to see Cap get capped. The title, of, <laughs> the title of the movie is Infinity War. Is it not? Avengers Infinity War. Yeah. yeah. I want to see a war, man. <laughs> Like, they had a little dome up, like, episode one, Star Wars. Like, did you see that part? Yeah. They had, like, a little dome up. <laughs> like, this is some Star Wars, but Marvel Avengers shit. So, like, yeah, I want to see this shit. That shit it reminded me of uh, World War Z, too. They're piling up on that shield. Yeah, dude. <laughs> it's like, they're going to break through. <laughs> oh, shit. So, what do you think about the uh, this uh, Black Order he's got with his children, apparently? They look like pussies so far in these clips. I'm seeing, like, the fight of uh, Cap. Oh, I Black like the Widow. one with Doctor Strange, whoever he's fighting. He pinned him up like a like a pin doll. Yeah. And he's like, shh, just shut up. Remember, <laughs> remember, trailer trickery. That might not actually be the person he's fighting. That might not be. but still. Because if you don't see them in the same shot, it's trickery. Like Just like when uh, Tony's like, tell me his name again. And then in the trailer, Glamour's like, Thanos. Well, we now know that's, it's not. It's Banner who tells him who Thanos yeah. is. But trailer trickery, right? Just never trust the trailers. Well, they All did right. that with uh, Ragnarok. Because remember they had Thor fighting Hilla in like an alley? No, that actually was... Uh, they, they Green screened that shit. Deleted scenes. They changed it. They were like, uh, this ain't making any sense because they want Norway. And there was another reason, so they changed it up. Ah, man, I'm gonna sneeze. I swear it. I hate sneezing so much. I really do. So I guess, uh, unless you guys can think of anything else we should cover, technically. I think we covered a lot of the bases there. Well, We're going to have an epic showdown on uh, oh my gosh. Wakanda soil, so yeah. Joe, are you going to you gonna take your pants off in the theater like me? I mean, I may just go naked and be prepared already. All right. Yeah, and get arrested. And then when they're like, what the hell are you doing? They're like, oh, I'm cosplaying as Hulk. I'm like, <laughs> I'm cosplaying as Hulk. From Aven- Hulk from, in a hot tub. From uh, Ragnarok. <laughs> Spray paint. I'm hot tub Hulk. Spray paint. <laughs> I'm Banner post battle. <laughs> <laughs> just like wearing like a blanket or something like that. Just like yeah, I I found these. <laughs> I love that part in Ragnarok. He's like, stop messing with me. It's like I'm sorry. Tony wears his pants real tight. <laughs> That's not in the script, bro. <laughs> so I I wish I would have saw Robert Downey Jr.'s face when he saw that for the first time. I was like, oh, talking shit. We're coming up on the devil's anus. <laughs> Ugh. Ragnarok is probably in my top three. Ragnarok was Ooh. really good. You slut. Top three? Yeah. I love it so much. It's definitely in the top five. What's your number one other than Winter, Winter Soldier? Soldier. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, I was going to ask what's your number two? Uh, Civil War. Because we all know what... Yeah, really? So you, Civil War? So when this movie comes <laughs> out and just blows your fucking mind, is that going to be your new number one? Probably. So his top three is all Russo brothers. Yeah. They've been killing it, man. I'm telling you, man. They're the your M- favorite. The MCU <laughs> kicked it up a notch when Winter Soldier came out. I'm telling you, that's when it, like... It just points up. <laughs> We're gonna live forever! <laughs> We're gonna live forever! <laughs> What's your favorite, Jonathan? So far, I, I think... Iron I, Man I, I, No, I covered... <laughs> <laughs> I covered the last... Uh, I, I, I keep it old school. I did, like, the first Avengers one. I, that was probably my favorite one. The very first Avengers? The very first Avengers, yeah. I like that one a lot. Age of Ultron gets a lot of hate for no reason, I think. Yeah, I love it. It's because it wasn't the first one, in my opinion. I like I the first one I think people couldn't get over that awe factor of the first Avengers because <laughs> it's like, oh my god. Yeah. They're all on the screen together. Yeah. Like... Other people come at it as like uh, Josh Whedon got a lot of flack because he was fighting the studios for shit all the time. Yeah. And then he went over to DC and fucked that shit up so we don't care. <laughs> no, no, he didn't, he didn't fuck up. Well, he tried to. I mean. No, he went over there to do Batgirl 
And because of all this, oh, oh, did, so, did, so did Batman. <laughs> oh boy! Don't oh, even was, get me started on the Killing Joke. Oh, the Killing Joke. Oh my God! Yeah, That's two him. movies. The first half, I would watch the rest of that. The second half, no, that was bad. Uh, no, they fired him because of all the uh, scandal stuff in Hollywood and all that. And then it got uprooted that uh, when Josh Whedon's marriage was getting rough, he actually did cheat and fell in love with another woman. But that's not forcing your actresses to do stuff for you. That's not doing obscene stuff to people in hotels and, and fans and stuff like that. No, this is a personal thing. And just, it was enough for them. They're like, oh no, mm-hmm. you're fired. It's almost a good thing that DC isn't doing as well. Because if they were... <laughs> <laughs> like, I like the way he words it. It's like, a good thing. <laughs> like, if they were doing as good as Marvel, do you know how broke I would be from going to movies? Like... I still go to all the DC movies anyway. How many Marvel movies? I, I do too. Yeah. How many Marvel movies do we have this year alone? Three, four, if you want to technically count Venom. Yeah. Now think if DC was... Oh, wait, no, Venom. five. Black, uh, Dark Phoenix later this year too. Think if... Dark Black Phoenix. Yeah. Think if African DC American was doing Phoenix. good. If DC was doing good, we'd probably have like two or three DC movies this year. That's like eight movies. No, I mean, we, just get, we just got one in Cycle Man. I could care less. And they're and they're not listening to to feedback at all because they're like, guys, hey guys, guess what? We're gonna make Suicide Squad two. And everybody's like, why? No one's asking for this. Make a legit Green Lantern Corps, but instead of Hal Jordan, do somebody else. John Stewart, calling it. <laughs> so we need Hal Jordan to die. No, Unfortunately. I I love Idris Elba, <laughs> but I don't think he would be a good John Stewart. As compared to, um, one sec, I gotta remember his name. I'll have to get back to you on that. I can see his face, but I can't fucking remember what movie he's in, and I have no idea what his name is. Oh, put in the description below then. What? The actor's name. Well, Marvel's already took a few good black actors. No, we'll do that just next podcast. Oh, okay. What? Marvel's already took a lot of the good black actors, so they better have good luck finding a job. Man, they're creating new ones too. Chadwick Boseman? Holy shit. You know he's Jackie Robinson? Yeah. I completely forgot about that. When I saw him in there, I was like, what the fuck? Black Panther's in this? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Oh, man. Would you go with the guy from Star Wars? What was the guy from Star Wars' name? Black dude. John Boyega. Danny Glover? No. What? Danny Glover? Which guy are you talking about? Uh, the... You're talking yeah. about Finn. Yeah, Finn. Yeah. I don't know his name. Anymore. Oh, John Boyega. Yeah, yeah, that's what I was saying. Wow, my mind You're went to the new, the, next, ho- so, yeah. the new solo. Yeah, my bad. My bad. Fuck it. Jamie, I like Danny Glover. Jamie Foxx. As from Baby Driver, as Ghetto uh, <laughs> Green Lantern. <laughs> oh, okay. He was oh, bats, shit. man. He killed people. <laughs> Dude, he died the best way. Because you're he looking did, at the man. poster. That's why that. I was like, hang on. I was like, oh, hey, my poster is bad. I was like, I loved hey, him in that movie. You're talking man. about like Spider-Man, I he was a right? Asshole, and I loved him in that movie. Yeah. Absolutely loved him. Hmm. Mm, yeah. DC though, they did take one thing. They said Flashpoint's going to be made, so that's a uh, something to look forward to. But uh, Justice League was so terrible. Some parts great, some parts you're like, why? I tell you what, man, the, they had probably the, one of the best fight scenes I've ever in a superhero movie. In when Justice Super, League? When Superman fought all of them. That was scary. When he saw Flash moving at light speed, it's like, I can see you, bro. Like, I'm gonna yeah, that was up. scary. <laughs> it's like, I'm gonna fuck you up, man. So, fucking mustache. They CGI'd <laughs> a mustache, man. They also CGI'd that Green Lantern back in the day, the Green Lantern mask. They CGI'd that shit. It's a mask, bro. Just, put it, put, just it. put it on. <laughs> Glue stick. Things the way CGI money. You know those like fake mustaches? They could have just gave them right there. You know what they <laughs> like a do? bone cap, <laughs> but for your mustache. <laughs> they should have just had a full bearded fucking Superman. Fuck it. That's what everybody says. They should have had a bearded black suit Superman. That would have been legit. That's you where could you save so much time, money, and hassle if you just would have been like, you know what? But you Here's know why the simply. mustache became a problem, right? It's because when Joss Whedon showed up and you're like, okay, we're going to reshoot and create new scenes and do it this way. That was a new scene. Mm, yeah, why do you think it's a fight during the day instead of the, the typical Zack Snyder giant CGI fight in nighttime? In the dark. And he was in, in the rain. Uh, what's his name? Henry Cavill was doing another movie that required a mustache or something? Uh, was it Uncle? I don't know. 
I don't know what part he was playing. I just know he had to deal with a mustache. Something. The sequel to Uncle or something maybe is what I was hearing from somebody. I don't know. He's a great Superman. I'll say that. Great choice for a I'm Superman. I'm one of the few people who like Man of Steel. No, I love it. I think it's a good movie. I don't care what you say. It's a good solo no, movie, I too. I had no problem with it. I mean. Honestly, I like Wonder Woman. I got it on DVD. They, they jumped the gun. Bitch. They made <laughs> Man of Steel. I like Wonder Woman, too. <laughs> Wonder Woman's fucking great. Yeah. I'm just not... That No Man's Land section? Holy yeah, shit, offended, dude. man. You're like, man, I like this one, too. <laughs> Nobody's I'm with the great. brutality that Ben Affleck is, but the the whole going overboard and killing people, no. Yeah. So, I was say, I like... Uh, I like Shut the, Bruce. the fuck up, Joe. He is not the Punisher with a cowl, man. He is Batman. I, I like him as And you Bruce can't Wayne. just keep dishing out the same fucking boring ass shit over and over again. He's a really good Bruce Wayne. Man. <laughs> oh, yeah. yeah. I agree. That was a classic. No, it finally I, happened. That's like my favorite Bruce Wayne of all of because like, I'm like, yeah, you know, he, he really like enforces like the billionaire status kind of look. He's yeah, got the, the smirk. Attitude. Yeah, I like, I like him. They should just have like a standalone Bruce Wayne. And I like that he didn't do <laughs> What like Christian Bale did. Bruce Wayne movie. <laughs> a movie only about Bruce Wayne. Yeah, in his everyday life, you know, just stubbing his banging toe in the morning. Supermodels. I was gonna say banging his toe on the coffee table, but okay, and that. <laughs> banging his toe on the supermodels. <laughs> <laughs> <he called>? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Alfred, get out of here. <laughs> like, you think... wish, sir. Oh my gosh. It's... No, 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 no. You can't keep dishing out the same <laughs> shit over and over again. All right. The source material was Dark Knight Returns. Yeah, and there he's old, he doesn't care, but still. It's also, he's much further in his career. He comes back to deal with this shit. And it is this new dark vibe. If you had this Boy Scout motherfucker, oh, I don't need him that's to be boring. I don't need Superman's him to be already the Boy Scout, you don't need another one. I don't need him to be as Boy Scouty as Superman or Captain America. Oh, but though. you make it sound like you do. No. He kills people. <laughs> I don't need him to like take a knife and be like shit, slitting people's throats or shooting guns at people in trucks Dude, and blowing it up. I don't Arkham even... Knight. I don't tell even me, play that game. Tell, <laughs> tell me. Everybody tell me game. those hey, slugs that you shoot on. from the no. bat tank. Let me explain it to you. Does not kill dude on the street. Let oh, me I explain know he does. that one to Shut you. Shut the fuck up. I'll explain it to you the way Joe explained it to me. Well, he just switches over to, like, instead of regular bullets, to, like, rubber bullets. It's a bullets. giant beanbag. <laughs> tell, me, me. tell me that doesn't kill a motherfucker. The weird part about that game is, if you run somebody over, it electrocutes them, and that's supposed to stop them from death. Like, you full blow yeah. hit them with yeah, a Yeah, you go full speed. <laughs> like, I, I know Batman has killed people, but uh, what I'm saying is, you're I like not, for my Batman not to kill people. He didn't go straight out control. just like, I'm just gonna kill you. Yeah, I don't want he him was, to be- People were in his way. He was just barreling through the people. I don't want him to be the Punisher is what I'm saying. The Punisher, he wasn't the Punisher. The Punisher straight up kills people. All right? Yeah, no. What Your comparison doesn't make any sense to me because, like I said, he doesn't just go there with the goal of, I'm just going to kill you. Exactly. He goes with the goal of branding. He has an objective. <laughs> that was dumb too, man. He has an objective and he just barrels through it. He doesn't care what the level of brutality like, is. In BVS, man, like, what was the point to attaching that hook to the car and dragging it? Uh, because he launched it at the at the other car. Because it looks great in a rear view mirror, okay? <laughs> yeah. I'm, you know what? I wish he could have this argument with Zack Snyder. Like, bro, what was the point? <laughs> what was the point? It looked cool. That's Zack Snyder's reason for everything. It looked cool. Yeah. That's all. He, he's a visual... He's a beautiful visual director. But when it comes to logic and shit, he goes out the fucking window, bro. And, like, DC has good actors. Like, both people who play Batman... <sighs> Dude, Jason Momoa's not a bad actor either. But like, I like Momoa. Momoa's cool. Yeah, but it's not great. Hey, we, everybody what about here, Wonder Woman. What's everybody her name? here, Gal Gadot, Gal Gadot is cool. But I this, like this is what I think. We all doubted Gal Gadot too. Every, I know I did. Everybody mm-hmm. needs to do the Star Wars thing. Grab some unknowns, and give them the career. Don't grab people like Mummy. Were you able to watch Mummy? I did not watch that one. The newest one? The but newest you're like, one? oh, is that the one with Tom Cruise? Yeah. The fact that you're going, oh, it's Tom Cruise. It takes you out of the fucking movie. Yeah. Even though it was a shit-ass movie. That's actually why I didn't watch it, because I was just like, ah, I don't really know how I feel about I it. I go more with the classics. Yeah. The classic mummies with shit. I don't care I fucking love it. I don't care what anybody says. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Look who's got all the horses. Look who's on the wrong side of the river. <laughs> oh. <laughs> classic. Classic mummies. Great. No, DC is kind of... Uh, when you compare it to like Marvel's 
catalog of great actors they've Marvel's been able Marvel's unfair. They just keep grabbing everybody that's good. Well, they got both Sherlock's. <laughs> it's unfair. <laughs> and Watson. You know you're going to... And they got Watson now, too. I forgot about that. You know you're going to lose your shit if they ever talk and, like, Doctor Strange says something, like, very blatantly obvious. And Tony's like, yeah, no shit, Sherlock. Oh, fuck yeah, dude. <laughs> You would lose, lose your, your shit. shit. And then, like, they got Jude Law playing in uh, Captain Marvel. I don't know what part he's playing. Uh, pilot. But he's like, probably the love interest. Like I'm imagine him meeting is. like Tony Stark and he'd be like, "Do I know you?" <laughs> like they should just have a comedy role, man. Like right there. They have all of it, man. Watson, come lay next to me. <laughs> lay down with me, Watson. Make it count. <laughs> he but loves yeah, Mar- the Sherlock Marvel's, movies so Marvel's, much. Uh, roster is just unfair. It just is. Man. It's fun. They got so many they Academy Award winning. They grab people and then they sign the contracts like they were an athlete for a professional team. Like, look, you're gonna yeah. play here. You're going to play here? Seven years, no no doubt. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> like, minimum. Minimum seven years. I think Sebastian Stan still has like three more movies technically because he got signed up for nine movies. Wow. See? They sign him up like pros. Like, yeah. <laughs> no, like you set for That's why he keeps doing cameos. It counts. It easy fun. just doesn't... They, I don't, I don't they know. also... Like, I wasn't able to look at their Jim Gordon... Like he was Jim Gordon. No. Yeah, because he's fucking J. J. Jonah Jameson. That's I want him is. to scream about photos for Spider Man. Yeah, like when I saw him. Like that's you, that's you one not of Gordon. that's uh, one of the easy ones that come up whenever you talked about so, with somebody. It's like perfect casting. Yeah. He was perfect cu- fucking casting. You know who else was perfect casting? The Doc Ock from Spider Man Two. I don't know his name. Uh, uh Molina. Yep. Uh, is it Alfred Molina? Uh, yeah. I don't remember his name. But he was Doc Ock. I, yeah, I, yeah, I like great, great Doc yeah. Ock. Uh. Let's see, who else was... Sandman was perfect, too. Yep. I can't remember that actor's name, but... If it was actually just Sandman, and take out Hobgoblin... Yeah. And no, there was Venom, great. and then you tweaked Venom, that would have been a fantastic movie. That would have been good. Minus the emo dance and stuff. Yeah. That was kind of... <laughs> Tone, or, or at least tone it down a little, maybe. Yeah. yeah. I was like, I get it. Had Gwen Stacy, funny, she actually seemed alright. You know, a doll version. They abandoned the high school Spider-Man very quickly in the Sam Raimi films. Whereas in Amazing Spider-Man, they at least waited to the second film. Whereas Homecoming, I'm glad he's a sophomore. <laughs> it's like, he's not a senior, he's not about to graduate. No, it's always out there. So, yep. I like it way more. Tom Holland is my favorite Spider-Man. Even though so much of our generation is like, no, it's Tommy Maguire, he's the perfect, he's the best. Oh. Shut the fuck up. I don't think he was a. I don't think he was a bad Spider Man. No, he was great. He wasn't bad. I mean, he just wasn't my favorite. I mean, like, but I, I like his Tom whole Spider Man portrayal from what Rami wanted and the writers and all that is not Spider Man. That's Man Spider. Man Spider. <laughs> that shit's not supposed to come out of his arms. That's why I always wanted to imagine the it. human him, spider. Him creating the shit. That made it <laughs> That's a, a terrible name. Spider Man. Bones. <laughs> <laughs> what a cute outfit. Did your husband make it you for you? That, that Spider Man was homophobic. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck that Spider Man. <laughs> Do you know who that was? Do you know who Bonesaw was? No. I think I talked about this with you one day. That's Macho Man Randy Savage, yep. Oh, yeah. You okay. don't know? <laughs> yep. Get beat up in the comments for that. Man. I like how uh, Campbell had a ca- uh, cameo in all three of those two. Bruce Campbell. Oh. I was like, Campbell. I was like, Campbell from work? Campbell? No, <laughs> fuck that dude. Yeah, they can. <laughs> Yeah, that's a, that's an inside thing. We can't talk about it on a Sorry. podcast. But, uh, no, Bruce Campbell. I like that. He had a cameo in all three. Stanley and Cameo. Where the fuck is he going to have a cameo in Infinity War? Yeah, without dying? <laughs> is he going to be, like, in the fucking army with the Wakandans mar- running in a battle or some shit? I don't know. Passing out drinks. There you go, guys. <laughs> Stay hydrated. Well, like, there's got to be, like, a brief moment where they're... Not, not fighting, fighting yeah, that's the only time. Oh, man, that, when he goes, I'm going to cry. Don't say that. It's too early to speak of that. He's 90... Shut up! Two? 93? Him and Betty White, you're like, dude, put them in a bubble. Protect them. We're going to put them on ice and reserve them forever. <laughs> Winter Soldier, uh, Captain America style. <laughs> We're going to do this. Excelsior. <laughs> So, Infinity War tomorrow, Joe and I. You want to hang out afterwards? You want to go to IHOP and talk about this shit? Fuck it, dude. I'll wait I, for you. Go, I, like I, He did that for me. 
I imagine after seeing this movie, I'm not gonna know life anymore. I'm literally gonna talk about it until Deadpool comes out, probably. <laughs> Dude, and you're gonna be watching Deadpool going. I should have seen The fuck is gonna happen with Avengers Four, yo? <laughs> God damn it! Man, it'd be cool if they put him in the two. Dude, if Deadpool shows up at any point in the MCU. And then you make it PG-13, he cusses, and he notices the bleeps that he's getting bleeped out. It'd be funny. <laughs> I like this one post that somebody like, what, did. The bleep? Like, are y'all censoring me? Is this on? <laughs> <laughs> I like I like uh, uh, one post somebody made. is like, he finally does go in the Marvel Universe, but it's PG-13, so he's only allowed one fuck. So he saves it, but then the movie ends, and he realizes he didn't actually use it. So he tries to use it, and it goes to black. <laughs> <laughs> That'd be funny. That would be funny. I'd laugh my ass off. Oh, there was another one. Then they can have a uh, Deadpool kills the Marvel Universe and it's rated R and it's be a lot, lots of laughs. Yeah, but spinoffs like that are not going to happen. Mm. Shut up. We can dream. You can dream. It could be possible. Anything's possible, man. The way uh, Marvel's going. Dude, they're going to get all their shit back? Like, uh, nerd gas. I, I wish. <laughs> I truly hope the they do. 10 years. 20 years of Marvel. We got 10 more years if they're all together. The main villains could be Galactus, right? Right? Right. Who else yeah, is that who you think is going to be the next big baddie? If they're all together, yeah. Like X-Men, Fantastic Four. If they're all together, it'd have to be him. Who else would it be? Mm. Who else is bigger and badder than Gal- Galactus and Thanos? Hey, John K. Yeah, what's up, Kyle? Right next to Fallout is the Marvel Avengers Encyclopedia. Bring oh, that God. to me, please. We're going to give you all some knowledge today. We drop some knowledge on y'all. Encyclopedia time. Hey, look, that's evidence of something that I actually got back from Joe. Hey, Batgirl. But I had to forcibly get that back. What? Okay. The Marvel Encyclopedia. You didn't let me borrow the small one. Did you yeah, it me? was. It was there for you, too. You gave me the thick-ass book. The thick-ass like thick, thick one and this one were both over oh, there. Oh, okay. <laughs> but the thick one had way more info, so I understand why you favorited it. Uh, is this only going to be heroes or is it going to be bad guys, too? Uh, I see some bad guys. Okay. Uh, we've had Zemo. Let's see. We had Black Bolt. Interesting. <laughs> you read that whole thing and it's interesting? It, yeah, interesting. Uh, da, 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 da. I'm quick flipping through. I don't know anybody in the Marvel Universe that's bigger and badder than Galactus. Hmm. I'm pretty sure the Avengers have fought somebody that's bigger and badder, but I don't know. See, like, I'm going to say the next 10 years, maybe they might. Inst- do uh, the uh, the whole uh, X Men versus uh, Avengers kind of thing. Maybe Doctor it's... Doom. Tech. He has fucked them up a lot. Yeah, yeah. he fucks everybody up. Yeah. He even beat I got Darth Vader apparently. I got a funny story that I find I heard. Apparently, there was a comic <laughs> that back when Luke Cage was the uh, hero for hire. Power Man. He hired him to go beat up some dudes. So he goes and beats them up. Then it comes to find out his employer was Dr. Doom. But the contract was only for 200 bucks. Dr. Doom went, nah, I'm not going to pay you. Mm-hmm. And then goes back, flies back to his country. Then the comic, the rest of the comic is Luke Cage going all the way there, beating ass to make it to Dr. Doom. And he beats Dr. Doom. He does what nobody else ever thought to do. He constantly hits the same spot on his armor and just weakens it. To shatter him and knock him down. For just $200. Are you here for revenge? No, I want to get Luke paid. Cage is my dude, man. He's like, I want to get, that's he's like, I wanna get paid. Give yeah. me my money. <laughs> that's fucking hilarious. <laughs> Alright. Uh, well, they already used Domamu. So, there goes that, big they baddie. They didn't fully use him, though, man. Come on. You know that. They, they beat him. They didn't fully use him. <laughs> Uh, let's Mandarin. see, flipping through all get this. The real, the real Mandarin? Get the real Mandarin. It's possible because they did fix it in the one shot. Uh, Fire Lord, who the fuck is that? Okay. It's Flat. Like Star Lord, but, you know. There's Galactus. Galactus hmm. would be something, like, legit to see, not a dark cloud over the earth. Like. Ugh, yeah, that was nasty. Fucking sneezes. I hate it. You have a person humanoid size but in space and he covers up like the entire space. Yeah. Ridiculous. Hawkeye 2. That'd be cool. The female Hawkeye. That's when Hawkeye dies and he hands his bow over to the girl. No, he was training her. No, I mean the daughter in the MCU or something. 
Hmm. Like, oh, I lived my life. Here you go. Yeah. Pass it on. Thanos flicked me in my forehead like beer. You know, so you know they're also <laughs> talking about uh, bringing Blade back, right? He's rated R. So. Team up. Was he ever an Avenger? It'd be weird for him to be an Avenger. Wouldn't it? He was oh, a he Dark Knight. That's all I know, right off the bat. You know who'd be badass to see in a Netflix series? Moon Knight. We've talked about this, yeah. Moon Knight be a badass motherfucker, man. I'm not seeing some, like, major level... I don't think fight. there is anybody major level besides Thanos and Galactus. They've already used Loki. They've used the shit out of Loki. Yep. I'm in the M's right now. Man, ape. So you There's Mantis. Oh. So Maria the Hill. Deal, I guess. You know, I don't think we're going to see Maria Hill in Infinity War. That makes me sad. She was, like, done after one movie, wasn't she? After that Hella Carrier? The yeah. Movie? That's all she did. Yeah. Yeah. Uh. Oh, uh, Mephestro. Isn't he's he like pra- a demon thing? He's practically the devil of the whole universe. He's the lord of the realm of hell. There you go. He's, like, equivalent to Hades or something? Practically. Hell yeah. There's Moon Knight, like we were talking about. Moonstar. She looks, reminds me of... Spitfire. Uh, Mr. Fantastic, Mr. Hyde, Miss Marvel, sometimes known as uh, Captain Marvel, Miss Nebula, Nick Fury, Onslaught. Oh, Onslaught, that would be... Well, they've already said Onslaught from the army of Thanos. No, Onslaught's that, uh, isn't it like fusion of something of Magneto and Professor X, or who am I thinking of? Uh, when the X-Men's leader, Professor X, used his powers to shut down Magneto's brain, a new creature was created, Onslaught. Yeah, that's him. He's that's, supposedly badass. That's fucking scary. Mm-hmm. Patriot, Power Man, Protector, Quasar. Unless they all, like, legitly fight, like... A- Unless Red Skull comes back with some powers. Unless they legitly fight Apocalypse and his four horsemen, like... Legit. They're not gonna touch Apocalypse after the disaster they made. Well, Marvel's doing it. There's Ronan. <laughs> so Marvel, that changes everything, like Joe. It, like it makes you more comfortable and confident, right? It, it, if you see Marvel's name attached to it instead of Sony or just. Fox. Nah, I, I still don't think they're gonna touch it. They didn't even want to touch Quicksilver. All right, they barely did it. Well, it's because Joss Whedon was forcibly putting him in there. What if they do like a like a League of Villains kind of stuff? DC's yeah. doing that, and we it's kind of... League of Wrong. That's nasty. League of Extraordinary uh, Villains. That end credit scene, I liked because it was Deathstroke, and I was also disappointed to still see Jesse Eisenberg. Oh, duh! Movie. Squirrel Girl! There you go. There's the evil net. That's the next big baddie. Yep. That's the next big baddie right there. Why didn't we think of it? Anna Kendrick wants to be her, actually. She's petitioning for it. It's got to be so... Well, see, does it have to be somebody at a cosmic level? That's why I think, like, Red Skull could do it, too, technically. If he came back. We didn't actually see him just die. He got teleported. There's Thanos. Thor girl. 3D man. Okay. Thunderstruck. Or Thunderstruck. It would have to be somebody who would, like, all the Avengers would need to team up on. You know what I'm saying? Well, to make the, it worthy. The remaining Avengers. The new Avengers. To make it worthy. Are you worthy of Mjolnir? 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 They already used Ultron. Valkyrie. What if Ultron came back as like a 2.0 somehow? Vision. 2.0. Oh, Oh, Adam Warlock! Oh yeah, they teased him at the end of Guardians too. Yeah. He's got some crazy stats. The the wizard! (laughs) He was in Jessica Jones. You remember him? The wizard? They're following me. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Did you watch season two of that? Yeah, I watched all of it. Is it good? Not bad. I need to watch it. I haven't watched it yet. Howard the Duck. Howard the Duck is the main villain? Fuck yeah. <laughs> Actually, people speculate he's going to be the replacement for Stanley when he dies. He'll be the new cameo guy. What? Yep. Really? Just to piss off Joe. You fucker. No, no. That oh. really is a thing people are saying. I just think it's funny oh. because it pisses you personally off. Yeah, because I waited another <laughs> few minutes to watch the end credit scene hoping it was supposed to be something with Thanos in that movie and it was Howard the fucking Duck. Yeah. Yeah. 
Voiced by Seth Green. Howard the Duck, man. <laughs> What's your opinion? <laughs> we literally had two minutes of Thanos time between all these movies until Infinity War. All right. Hey, once you go duck, <laughs> you never give a fuck. Wait, so you don't give a fuck. Oh, whatever. Fucking Howard the Duck. So I, yeah, uh, I guess it would have to be Galactus, unless they do somebody who's like down to earth but yet still powerful. Well, if I, th- this is assuming that everybody, like X Men, Fantastic Four, everybody's together. I don't. Know I want Doctor Doom, a real Doctor Doom. Yeah, not the husk from a. Uh, that was nasty. Mass Effect. That's literally what he looked like. Yeah, he really did. <laughs> but uh, the original guy who played Doctor Doom, like that was good. I was on board with him. He gave off that like Eastern European kind of vibe and all that, and you're like, hey, I could see him being a king of a country and shit like that. All right. Whatever. Obviously, they can't use the same cast from Fantastic Four because, well, Killmonger. Like, yeah, you were a villain once. Didn't we kill you? <laughs> Everything needs to be rebooted if they do get a hold of it. The new 52. Shut the fuck up. Man, the comments are going to kill you. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe. Yeah. If anybody had does comment. <laughs> so I guess that's everything. Yeah. We had a little stall moment because I was looking through because I wanted to find a vil- baddie we could talk about, but I guess Joe is right about that. Thanos and Galactus, man. Who else? <laughs> it doesn't. I don't want it to always be galactic level threat. Well, Doctor Doom would be a good because he's fought the Avengers many times. Yeah, right? and he's got technology and magic. Street cred. And he also has Doom bots like out the ass. Like it's never really him when you kill it. <laughs> yeah, he's smart. Like, so yeah, that would be, Dr. Doom would be a good, could see that. a legit Dr. Doom. What's his fake country, Latveria? Yeah, I can never pronounce it. Latveria? Yeah, Latveria. something like that. He has like a legit castle, like back in the fucking 80 days and shit. <laughs> the 80 days? The 80s? <laughs> <laughs> what? I don't know. The 80 days? AD days. AD days, or BC days, whatever you want to say. Yeah. Back in those days. 80 HD you want to say, like, uh, middle uh, the Dark Ages? The Middle Ages? Yeah, them too. There you go, say that. <laughs> the AD days. <laughs> AD, the after- we're still in the AD days. Shut up! <laughs> I don't know anything but uh, Marvel. <laughs> I don't uh, care anything but Marvel. That's what I should say. Anyways. But I'm hoping for DC prayers. I'm yeah. not. <laughs> I am. I would like for both to be good, but... Yeah, no, I still go to watch the DC movies. I still do, them. but... I like the comic book movies, but I mean... But I'm never going to be like the DC philosopher like I, I am showing you. Oh, I don't think I would be either because I don't know much about them and I only like certain things. Yeah, I, don't, I don't really care about most of them anyways. I don't like the whole guys trying to be real men bullshit. Everything in DC is I was born this way. Or yeah, I just... I, I believe. The number one thing I hated about that movie? At the end when Superman is just making your boss look like a junk. Like he's like, oh, you guys are still messing with Stephen Wolf, huh? And he just comes over and punches him. Yep. Like, this is your bad guy, your villain. <laughs> and yeah. you just come over and just make him look like, no. It took three tribes of people to kill him or send him away, wound him in battle. And all you needed was one Kryptonian. One Kryptonian. Just to like, oh, hey, guys, let me take care of this guy for you. Pow. I mean, they're also pissing off their own fan base. They're like, oh, and we're going to have Flash in the Justice League. Yeah. Not the one you know from TV. What? See, that's another thing. I like the guy from TV. I don't like the guy they had. Steve Amell is even bitching. Is like, they told me there's going to be a Green Arrow, and it's not me. That's even more upsetting because he's a great Green Arrow. Yeah, everybody loves him. So they, they shoot themselves in the foot. They're like, great idea. Actually, it'd be like... Cause it's <laughs> it'd be a whole goddamn rocket launcher. They're fucking fucking everything up. God. Oh man! And they're not slowing down. <laughs> they're just tumbling. Every step is a shot in the foot. <laughs> At flash speed. Until you run out of your foot space. And on that note, we're done. <laughs> we've we've covered so much. We've bantered it on. This is some nerd talk. I don't know if we should full on do next week's episode uh, as a review. I don't even know if you're free next week for it. Well, I'm about to go on nights. Tuesday. So I'll be off Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday next week. We could have a full on review. And you could probably slip in a, a viewing by then. 
I'll probably try to go see it twice. All right. Just because. Let's go Tuesday. <laughs> I don't care. I don't care. Go Tuesday. We can take you. Hmm. Let's all go. And then come back and talk. Battle plan, yo. So this is probably the longest podcast we had. Mm-hmm. Rightfully so, because Joe and I had a lot to talk about. And he's 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 got a chub. It's just a great day to be a Marvel fan. Man. <laughs> I've been waiting for years for this shit. <laughs> oh, you need to flash your Spider Man. You said you were gonna flash. I don't want to flash. I don't have my summer body ready. <laughs> you never have a summer body. Ready. <laughs> You're that it's one. a long winter, okay? <laughs> <laughs> winter is coming. You are not allowed. I know, I hated that show. So. You only watched you three episodes. Allowed. Like, you would yell at him if he started doing some Spartacus quotes, alright? Like, the fuck? Man, I watched more Spartacus than you watched uh, Game, of Game of Thrones. Like, I'm a, I'm a Spartacus I got through well. half of the first season. You got through the first three episodes. I mean, it was painful. <laughs> <laughs> That's 30%, though. That was, that was a struggle. And we're talking. That's an about F. It. Yeah. What I was got in school anyway, so. Goddamn, we were hitting some serious notes. <laughs> Thank you everybody for tuning in. Uh, if you are still listening and watching up to this point, we're, I'm sorry if you did. Patience. Patience. <laughs> Patience, Joe. Get up, get out, save you some money, and go watch Avengers. Yeah, save, save you some money? Save. What? Save you some money to go watch Avengers, man. Just oh, do it. To go, to go watch the movie. You're not making any sense. It's been a long day. Sure. It's been a long podcast. So, of course, you can find us all on our social medias. Uh, Neuro Underground on Facebook. We have a Twitter, NU.TV, which is N-U-D-O-T-TV. Uh, working on a website. We got merchandise on Redbubble. Uh, we're on Instagram. We do some of it. Not all of it, but some of it. You can follow me, David Faria, on Twitter. Uh, none of these other cuz do any of that shit. They're lame. Just Hashtag look, just look no Twitter. <laughs> <laughs> Hashtag don't care. Hashtag Ooh. sorry but not sorry. <laughs> Hashtag too long didn't read. There we go. <laughs> <laughs> uh, and of course, we're mainly on YouTube. Which is where most people watch us. In these podcasts. So, thank you. Catch you guys next time. Peace out, guys. Adios.